Hello, YouTube land. Let's get started with Mortal Kombat Deception now, shall we? It's crazy how bright... Oh my god, look. <laughs> See, like... Because <laughs> the main lighting source right now is my monitor. So it's crazy, like, how different things look whenever the monitor gets really bright or uh, has, like, different colors on it or whatever. It doesn't help. It's like, it's a 32-inch monitor, so it's a relatively large monitor. And I'm one of those people that just has everything cranked up to max, like, all the time. Oh, shit. I clicked on the wrong thing. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's just crazy how, how much light it reflects on me. My ring light on my camera up there, I have turned down to like i don't know it's probably like 15 percent or something like that just because i feel like it's too bright otherwise but like sorry if you miss any important update from when you turned your cam on your client called you the glasses are bright i know they're so reflective dude like if i look down like that it's not so bad <laughs> but like yeah they are they are very reflective and i never even realized that they were like that until i uh until literally yesterday, whenever I was setting up the the blue screen behind me and everything. And then I was like, holy shit, man. These glasses are reflective AF. Also, why... Hold on. Quick game. Yes. We're getting that big border around the play area again. It's Mortal Kombat, for some reason, isn't, like, centered properly. Uh, Video... We had it fixed, and I thought it would have saved to the memory card, but I guess not. Uh, progressive. On. Yes. Adjust screen position. Okay, now it's centered. And then we have to go, like, up here and hit done. Sorry you missed the first stream for this game, <laughs> Curse X Fan. No, man, it's no problem. As I mentioned before, I totally understand. People got lives, their own things going on, all that stuff. Not everyone can be here for every stream, but uh, I greatly appreciate when you guys are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was very happy that I remembered my code for the profile. <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to forget it, but we got it first try. Twas happy about that. I knew I made it all one button, but I couldn't 100% remember which button, so I just tried up. <laughs> it worked! Alright, where we're in the Chaos Realm. I don't remember what we're actually supposed to be doing right now. Are we just leaving? Is there a place where we can check what we're doing? I mean, if we just keep going to the green tower, presumably we'll get there eventually, wherever we're trying to go. Isn't there like a run button or something? Ah, R2. It's a weird run button, but it works. Do any of the other buttons? Oh, no, that's... Okay. All right, dude, let's go. You've got a midterm tonight? Who does midterms at night? <laughs> that just seems really odd to me, man. But, nah, you got this, dude. We believe in you, Rue. Guess you're going to be saying hi to Mr. Noodle. You got to get oil. Like cooking oil or car oil? Also, tell Noodle I said hi. <laughs> While you're there, I mean, why not, right? We are actually lost, by the way. You meet with the class once a week at 5.30. Oh. That's weird. So it's like a afternoon class. Is it just me or does the game seem kind of dark? Also, I noticed during the Morrowind stream that things were very dark. Um, in the recording... Not so much in the, the whatchamacallit, and the actual, like, when I was playing it, it looked fine. I mean, it was dark, but not, like, incredibly dark, but it looked a lot darker in the recording. I changed some settings to hopefully fix that. Hold on. Uh, I might know what's going on with the game. If I change this to that... See, that brightens it up, but it causes some weird artifacting on the screen, which I don't know if I like. That looks better, but it's awfully dark. Just 
trying like all the different set. Oh, that's <laughs> no. Okay, those ones are just no. Okay, so default. What if we change it to full color range and then do any of the other color spaces work better? No. Okay. Well, for right now, I'm just going to assume that it's meant to be dark in this section. I don't know if it's meant to be that dark, though. One thing I could do. Oh, I have one more idea. Color correction. Okay. Gamma. Nah, that's like... That looks about the same as if I was just to set it to the other side. I guess I'll just put it back on the other setting. Because like, it may just be... That, uh... The game brightness needs turned up a little bit. That may be all it is. This is more like what I think it's supposed to look like. I guess there's an easy way to tell. Hold on, I can go to my monitor here. Yeah, right? The Chaos Realm is meant to be chaos, after all. Uh, Go here, switch to normal view for me. Okay, yeah, that's literally what the game looks like. It's actually a tiny bit brighter in OBS than it is on just my normal monitor. So I guess this is the proper display. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know. I like the way it looks better with the other settings. But it makes the game too dark, which is annoying. Also, how the hell do we get... Is this a maze? It, I think this is a maze. Okay, we'll just follow the left wall. Follow the yellow brick road. We got this. Go in here. Watch the answer was just literally go down this path in the middle. Follow the green. Look, literally, yeah, just follow the green <laughs> coins. I guess that makes it nice and easy, dude. That looks like a pit of lava. I mean, it's very orange lava. It's orange Kool-Aid. We're bathing in orange Kool-Aid. Wait, do we just get it for free? Nobody's, like, attacking us or anything? As Shujinka walked through the shallow pool, he felt a strange, dizzying sensation. Bathing in Kool-Aid will do that. As if the world was passing him by. Now, it's all that sugar, dude. That's what it is. He an old man now. Look at him. Yes, I found it in a labyrinth not far from here. But I feel strange. I feel like I have changed. Indeed, you have. Many years have passed since you first entered this realm. I suspect the labyrinth you encountered contains some time-altering agent. Time has passed, but you have not perceived it. Many years? By the gods. I do feel older. It must have been that strange liquid I stepped through. That is a distinct possibility. It matters not. You should return to the Nexus and place it on the altar. You have done well, Shujiko. The Elder Gods will be pleased. I don't trust this dude one bit, man. Not gonna lie. Also, why do we look more buff, right? If we aged up many years by just sitting in one spot or standing in one spot, shouldn't all of our muscles, like, atrophied and shit? Shouldn't we be weak little babies, basically, now? Smart move, my man. Smart move. He just doesn't seem trustworthy at all, man. I'm pretty sure. I mean, as Nate pointed out last time, it's literally called Mortal Kombat Deception. I think we're being deceived here. <laughs> I, I think there's some uh, some fuckery going on with whatever his name is. I can't quite put my finger on it just yet. Like, what his goal is exactly, but... Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> that good, huh? <laughs> Are we, are we going to be attacked again by another one of the actual gods chosen protectors or whatever? No? Okay. So we've made it through what? Three realms? We've got three more to go, counting this one. Does that mean we're halfway through the game? 
I forget what the how long to beat was, but I guess that would kind of make sense. I think it was a roughly eight hours. We've played what? Three and a half? Three so far? And we're not really doing any of the side stuff. I've been skipping all of that because it seems like it only unlocks stuff for the for the single like the the arcadey mode. Which isn't what we're here for right now. As fun as that mode is, that's not what we're here for. Welcome to Outworld, Shuji Go. This is Outworld? I have heard many stories about this realm. This is the domain of the Emperor Shao Kahn. Ever indeed. He is a thief. A deceiver. He is not the rightful lord of this realm. There was a time when he was much like Raiden is to your Earth realm, an advisor. But he abandoned his position and stole Outworld for himself. Who ruled Outworld before Shao Kahn? A powerful military commander, Onaga, the Dragon King. In that age, Outworld was unified. Under Shao Kahn's rule, however, Outworld has become a dangerous and chaotic place. Be wary as you continue with your quest. I will keep my eyes open, Damashi. So if the Dragon Lord, I mean, we did see him at the beginning, but if he's so powerful, how did Shao Kahn steal the realm from him to begin with? That's the part that I don't quite understand. The final fight took you days to beat, so be prepared at the end of the game. I have noticed the game has been getting a little bit harder. Also, my arm's glitching out a little bit. Hmm. I guess because of how purple the screen is, probably. Oh, well. But yeah, no, I have noticed that it has progressively been getting a little bit harder. I was hoping there would be, like, some RPG mechanics or something like that. So that we could get more powerful. But sadly, that doesn't seem to be a thing. Like... Is this dude just dead? Oh, yeah, no, he's covered in blood. <laughs> yeah, he's probably dead. <laughs> What's in this house? I mean, you get so powerful, you honestly think that nothing will hurt you, and then bam, someone finds something. Noise. Are you talking about the dragon thing, or the us <laughs> in the game? Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to explore. Hi! I forget Look your name. What we have here. Dragon dude. Another okay. straggler for Melina to sink her teeth into. I do not wish for trouble, but I will defend myself if necessary. I must warn you that I am quite skilled in the art of combat. Is that so? We will see how long you can endure my attacks. I will sharpen my teeth with your bones. I love how terrible the voice acting is. <laughs> the voice acting is so bad in these games, man. On well, this game specifically. It might be a little bit better in the other Mortal Kombat's from around this time, but it is not good in this one. It is rough. Now, human, we will see how you fare against my Ying Yun high attacks. Fantastic. Get to learn another character so I can forget how they work. <laughs> Instantly. Low risk chop. Angle chipper. Oh, that's wrong button. Sorry. There we go. Demon sweep. Stimulating performance. Stimulating, huh? Do not underestimate me because I am beautiful. These Ying Yun power and pop-up attacks will prove to you I am a formidable foe. Tiger tail kick. Axe kick. Oof. Oh. Shoulder pain? Oh, we just <laughs> karate chopper in the shoulder. Noise. I'm impressed that you have survived this long, but you not survive my yin yin basic combos. Yeah, it is weird. That happens like with all of them, man. Like how we're supposed to be fighting them and then they teach us instead. I did not think you could endure my last assault. I doubt you will survive my Ying Yong advanced combos. I mean, there are some, I guess, that specifically mention, like, teaching us how to win whatever, you know, performance. to get the, the thing, the artifact that we're there for and shit. 
impressive, but you will not survive my Mion Chuan. Mion Chuan? I'm probably completely butchered there. Fantastic. They were completely synced up there at the end. That was weird. I do not understand how you could have survived, but you will not stand a chance against these blow attacks. I mean, maybe I'm surviving so easily because you're literally not fighting back. That could have something to do with it, man. Taste the wrath of my power and pop-up attacks. Crushing. Oof. Quick palm. Fantastic. I've been kicked in the chest with a kick like that before. Just a flat foot kick to the to the chest. It really knocks you back, man. <laughs> like hardcore. My basic combos will destroy you. We've heard this a million times from everyone. Why is it not? Excuse me. What? I'm pressing back in triangle, right? Stimulating performance. Okay, whatever. I just held back and mashed triangle, and apparently that worked, so. Defend yourself against my advanced combo. Crazy legs? Ooh. Keeping control. Was that any different from crazy? Oh, it was a punch at the end instead of another kick. That's how it's different. I got you. No one can defend against my Psy High. Attacks. Ow. Wait, did you just kick her in the vag while stabbing her with both of your Psy? Rude. <laughs> Your flesh bleeds red blood. My silo attacks will spill even more. Well done. Your favorite weapon? Is it for real? They do look pretty cool. I think you have survived. You've not encountered anything as powerful as my side power and pop-up attacks. Ow. Stabbed her into the heart into the ground so hard she flew up in the air. Ah, oh, my favorite, the shin stab. Fantastic. Heal the wrath of my psi combo. Fitness. Lightning stabs. Saber two. We get to learn the special techniques now. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to forget them once we learn them anyways, but it would be cool to know how to... What, what, what does Melina do? Is she one of the ones that spits acid, or is she the one that, like, eats people? Branching combos. Raphael has these weapons in TMNT, so that's why... Ah, I mean, I do remember them in TMNT, because it's what? It's Nunchuck, Psy, uh, Staff, and... I can't remember the actual name of it, but like a, a sword, right? Like a, a fancy sword. Mission complete. More coins. Let's go. Special moves. That's what we're looking for. We turn into Samus. Oil acquired. Nice. Man, her boobs look weird. They just are unnaturally perky. Born side. Ooh. They travel very Stimulating uh, performance. Uh, slow. And the hellos were delivered. Thank you. Have I broken your fragile body? Now I'll crush it? No, you literally haven't touched me. Does this have, like, infinite range on it? Yeah. Stimulating performance. I've given you a taste of my special attacks, but how will you defend against them all? Ow. Ow. 
Oh shit, I was doing the, the button backwards. Fantastic. Can I just say that is so not her voice? Why does she sound like completely different in the other Mortal Kombat games or something? Or in the movies? It's been a long time since I've watched the movie. I want to rewatch the original movies, even though I like I love them as a kid, but I fully understand that they're actually trash. But like, I still want to go back and, and watch Round them again. One. Fight. Oh, you'll hear it in a second. It's scratchy and evil. Okay. I forget how to... Why are you so low? How do I go low? <laughs> I hate you so much. There we go. We figured out how to kick people in the balls. That's how we win, man. The instructor voice sounds sexed as hell. <laughs> I'm assuming that meant to be sexy as hell. Just sexed. Sounds like sexed. Yeah. <laughs> Impressive. You survived my assault. You are a great warrior. There is much we can gain from one as skilled as you. I thank you for your kind words, Melina. Perhaps you would be interested in assisting our cause. Recently, the walled city of Lei Chen has defied the rule of the Emperor Shao Kahn. He has sent uh. us, his Tarkatan forces, to take the head of the Overlord there. We would like to complete our objective without incident, but we will use force if necessary. Would you act as our voice and convince this fool of an Overlord to surrender his life to Shao Kahn, so that his subjects will be spared? What if the Overlord refuses to surrender? Everyone in the city will be slain. The city walls are strong, but they will not hinder our assault for long. This is a most uncomfortable position for me. But if it means the citizens will be spared, I will see what I can do. You have our word. Bring us the head of the Overlord and we will spare them all. I don't trust her. Feel like we're getting uh, tricked into doing something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> something not so kind. Are you the ruler of this city? Yes, I am Overlord Saviro. State your business. Shao Kahn has sent his Tarkatan horde to attack my city. That is precisely why I am here. I have come to you with a message from the Tarkatan forces outside your walls. You have my attention. Go on. Shao Kahn has offered your people amnesty under one condition. You must surrender your head. My head? Unacceptable. I will never surrender myself to Shao Kahn. Not even to save my people. The Tarkata grow in number outside the walls of your city. It is only a matter of time before they overwhelm your military and destroy you all. For the sake of your people, I strongly... There may be another solution. If word of our struggle were to reach Sado, the realm of order, their elite guardsmen may give us aid. If I can find that realm, I will tell them of your plight. Excellent. You will need something of value to offer as payment. My city has been overtaxed by Shao Kahn, and therefore I have nothing suitable here. But there are rumors of a priceless object hidden somewhere in the living forest. If you can locate it, give it as payment to the Satan for their assistance. Please do not delay. Not to fear. I will bring help. Is that why he's rebelling against Shao Kahn? Taxes? That's what it normally comes down to. Can we, like, sneak in the back? Ooh. Oh, it's just a chest. Lame. 250 Onyx coins! Let's go, dude! We can use that to get some artwork I'm gonna look at once and then never again. <laughs> I do like unlockable in games, don't get me wrong. It's just, I was annoyed by how slow the process was for unlocking stuff from the crypt in this game. <laughs> I wish there was just like a mass buy button. And I don't understand the need for six different types of currency if all of the currencies are going to do the same exact thing anyways. Like, it really should have been red unlocks characters, gold unlocks costumes, blue unlocks art, yellow unlocks 
uh, pre-production art or videos or something. You know what I mean? Like, that would have been just a nice way to, to separate it. And then they would have been able to have the stuff that's important to you, you could unlock. And the stuff that you didn't care about, you could have just ignored or whatever. Instead, you just got to look it up online or just hope for the best, I guess. Love that there's just random dead bodies laying around everywhere. What are you doing in the living forest? I have been sent here to search for a valuable item said to be hidden in this area. You are too late. I have already found it. My queen sent me to secure it from the tyrant Shao Kahn. It seems I have located it just in time. Die, outworld mutant. Wait, what? No, we're not. <laughs> we're not working for Shao Kahn. We're trying to save a city from him. I think. I'm hardly following the story, I'm not going to lie. There's your problem. You're expecting Mortal Kombat to make sense. I mean, sure. Defend yourself against Jade's attack. Oh, we don't get to learn to fight as Jade? Oh, okay. Look, I've, I've forgotten how to... I forget how to dick kick. Without my dick kick, I'm useless. Okay, well, we can... We can uppercut. Oh my god. Uh, okay, we're fucked. Oh boy. <laughs> we hardly pulled that one out of the bag. I forgot to do all the special moves, man. Okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, I don't like her! <laughs> oh, again! <laughs> so fucking close, man. Down to the wire on both of them. This is why I need to spend more than, like, one fight with each character. I cannot memorize moves that quick. My brain don't work that way, man. <laughs> it takes me a while to learn movesets. And with me only playing the game once a week, all the information just disappears. I need practice and repetition. <laughs> hey, the Kamidogu. This was a really quick world, if that's all we were getting. Are we just piecing the hell out now? You have uncovered the outworld Kamidogu so soon. This is most fortunate. I did not realize it was the Kamidogu. The overlord of Lei Chen had asked me to offer it to the Seiden Guardsmen as payment for their assistance in defending against the Tarkatan hordes. It belongs to the Elder Gods and must be returned to them. You will place it on the altar with the others. But I have given my word that I would bring back help from the Realm of Order. How will I broker a deal with them if I cannot offer the Kamidogu? The point is moot. You cannot enter the Realm of Order without placing this Kamidogu on the altar. If indeed you wish to aid the Overlord, I suggest you offer the command of this city to the Satan Militia. Their principal philosophy is one of order and control. They will have little interest in defending a city unless they occupy it. Furthermore, they will not resist the chance to thwart Shao Kahn. But the Overlord did not give me the authority to... What he wants is of no concern to us. The Kamido is not his to use as a bargaining chip. For over a deal with the Sage that you feel so compelled, but do not lose sight of your primary objective. Return the outworld Kamido to its rightful place in the Nexus and continue with your quest. I will do as you ask, Damashi. Well <laughs> See the Outer Gods would want him to help. I don't know like that much lore from Mortal Kombat, but would all of the Elder Gods want him to help? I feel like there's got to be at least one Elder God that's just a massive dick, right? 
Like, surely one of them thrives on chaos and death and all that BS. But yeah, no, I, I don't trust this dude at all. <laughs> like, I 100% believe that he's acting purely in his own interests and not on the behalf of the Elder Gods, like he claims. And not to mention the fact that, like, they straight up said in the beginning of the game that we are the cause for the Dragon Lord being set free and returning to power. So, like, yeah, there's that, too. <laughs> and with the bulk of the game all being about us helping out uh, this guy who... The Damashi, I think his name was, whatever it was. Like, yeah, obviously, he's the one setting it up. Origin 6? Is that how you say it? Hello. Hi. Onward to the realm of order, then, huh? Assuming we don't just get attacked again. Nope. Okay. Origins 19. Ah, uh, XIX, like, like that. I got you. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. How are you, man? On to the realm of order, huh? I like the Kamidogu for it. It's purple. Purple school. Ooh. Looks like a utopian civilization. Pretty nifty. How are we going to screw them over? <laughs> Uh, this way? Oh, sorry, Mr. Guard, sir. Not mean to run into you. Behold, Shujinko, sail the realm of order. Tread carefully, for the city guard enforces the law without mercy. But I am new to this place. How am I to abide by their laws if I do not know them? This civilization has been built upon the concept of structure and organization. Deviation from this ideal is not tolerant. I cannot stress enough that you must avoid any entanglements in their legal system. I believe the likelihood of that happening is small, but I will heed your warning, Damashi. Why not tell us the laws of the civilization, then, if we need to, like, avoid breaking them so badly? Think about it. Since the Overlord was willing to kill his people to save himself, is he really a good dude to rule them anyways? I mean... True. <laughs> Very true, right? At the same time, though, like, I get it, though, you know? Like, it would be pretty hard to just accept your, your absolute death, even if you think it'll save the lives of others, you know? Like, knowing that I absolutely am going to die, but maybe they'll live? That's a, that's a, that's a hard thing to swallow at the same time it's your first time playing this game it is well my first time playing through the story i've played a little bit of it before but only like an hour or two um until i started playing through the story last week please excuse my interruption but i am shujinko champion of the elder gods i bring a message from the king of lei chen requesting the aid of your guardsmen in outworld i am quite busy champion get to your point Lei Chen is under siege, and in need of reinforcements to help defend it. Overlord Zephyro has offered to give control of his city to your realm if your guardsmen come to Outworld and defeat Shao Kahn's invading horde. Shao Kahn? Long have we battled against his minions. It would benefit all the realms to further suppress his advance. I am Commander Hotaru. I would pledge my aid to the Outworld city, but I still have work to do here. Help me end this riot by defeating the leader of the resistance, and I will defend this overlord. I would think a champion of the gods could end this uprising with ease. I will assist you however I can. Excellent. We will first need to train you to be a Satan guardsman, for you may not partake in an assault unless you are a deputized member of the guard. That is our law. Then let us begin my training. Follow me. Now I kind of wish I would have just punched a random dude to see what happened. You played this game a long time ago when you were a child on GameCube. Very nice, dude. You're the expert on this game. It was your childhood, too. <laughs> your favorite Mortal Kombat game and character, really? 
I mean, I'm a little bit older, right? I grew up with uh, Mortal Kombat on, like, the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. Uh, but yeah, like, those old 2D ones, I think, are probably still my favorite. From what I've played of the newer ones, they are good. Although, this specific story mode, I'm a little iffy about. Like, I didn't say I was, like, 100 years old. I said I'm a little bit older. <laughs> you know? Um, and technically, sure, then, like... Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis were a little bit before my time, but my family grew up, you know, a little bit poor. <laughs> so we had older game consoles before we ever got around to getting the newer game consoles. So that's that's what I grew up with, and uh, I really liked those ones. The PS2 ones are good, um, but I like those old 2, 2D ones. And I've never been good at any of them, which definitely doesn't help with anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've, I've never been good at a... I don't think at any fighting game, to be honest with you. You only had a GameCube because your father passed it down? Yeah, that's how it was with me, basically. Like, uh, I originally had a Nintendo when I was probably, like, six years old or something like that. And that was a hand-me-down. Um, and then, eventually, we got a Sega Genesis that my neighbor actually gave to me. It was one of those things where he's like, hey, little boy, come to my basement. I got a present for you. Except for, like, it turned out well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, nothing nefarious took place legitimately. He just, like, I went to his basement and was like, here, I meant to give this to my son, but for XYZ reason, I couldn't. So I, I feel like you should have it. And gave me a Sega Genesis. And then I also got an original Game Boy around that time. This would have all have been around the year 2000. So, like, <laughs> still pretty, pretty, uh, like, by the year 2000, man, we were just a year or two away from the PS2 coming out, and I was getting the original Game Boy and Sega Genesis. You see what I mean? So, <laughs> like, I did sometimes rent the, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Nintendo 64 from a game shop that was down the road, and eventually we got an N64, and then uh, we got a PS2 actually not too long after they came out. We breeding. There we go, dude. Oh, that's a new look. Kind of into that one for Bo. Uh, but eventually we got a PS2 not too long after they came out, like a few years after all of that, and um, got a copy of Sly Cooper, and then it's just been my favorite console basically ever since. So, like, yeah. You only got a PS3 recently within the last five years. Other than that, it was a single PlayStation 2. Five man. Since I've like been a little bit older and making my own money, I've been keeping up with at least the Sony stuff and mostly the Nintendo stuff too, honestly. Um, but yeah, for when I was a kid, it was mostly just whatever we could rent or whatever the family as a whole had gathered. Because whenever my mom married, they had a couple consoles. That's where the Super Nintendo came from um was was my my stepdad's family and then they also had a playstation one um which is where that came from but yeah <laughs> they also had an atari but i mean we didn't play on that much I don't, I don't remember if it was the 5200 or 2600 i don't remember which one it was but yeah old ass you had a ds and 3ds then got rid of them for a playstation vita then ps3 a few years later even though the ps4 was out like I said, I've thankfully been able to keep up since I've been an adult. Um, I got the Vita a few years after it came out once the price had dropped right at, way down. Because um, I've never been a huge handheld gamer. My Nintendo DS, I did have one of those as a teenager. But after I played the Pokemon games on it, I uh, gave it to my cousin for Christmas. Well, it was more like I gave it to my aunt and said, hey, you can give this to your kids as a uh, Christmas present if you would like, uh, along with like my Pokemon games and stuff that I had with it. And then uh, I never actually bought another DS. I, I did end up getting a 3DS, but... Holy shit. There we go, dude. That was a hard one. Trying to go back and buy a Wii to play this game. The Wii is pretty cool. I have one of those as well. Um, just make sure, because, like, wasn't there... I forget which Wii it was. 
but I think it mostly looks the same, but it doesn't have the uh, controller ports and memory card ports for the GameCube stuff. So unless there's a Wii version of the game, just make sure it's a uh, GameCube compatible one if you do get one. Correct. Hand chop, wing chop. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on DS. I didn't even know they made Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 for DS, to be honest with you. You learned that recently about the about the Wii? Yeah, growing up, we only had like the one Wii console in the family. And it was the model that had support. So I didn't even realize until just a few years ago myself that they uh at some point made a Wii that didn't support the GameCube stuff. <laughs> well, and then also, I was working at a retailer whenever they released the, the Wii that had, like, no internet connectivity or anything like that. Uh, just, like, the little, I think it was a red box, if I remember correctly. So, like, that one didn't have GameCube support, to the best of my knowledge, which wasn't super surprising because it was a super pared-down version of the of the Wii. I was tempted to get one, though, because they were only, like, 99 bucks or something. And to be honest, I'm not much of an online gamer anyways. I prefer to own my games digitally. Or, I'm sorry, physically, not digitally. And I hardly ever play multiplayer unless it's, like, couch co-op. So, like, I was tempted, but I didn't end up getting one. Oh, shit, we doing a heist? Hold on. I gotta, I gotta hop in this heist, my guy. Where's my mouse? Hello? What? My mouse is gone. Hold on, let me, let me turn my mouse off and back on. There we go. I see it now. Come on, connect, dude. Ah! I'm gonna have to unplug my mouse. Is it working out? There we go. Heist all. Get in that heist, dude. Fun fact, your dad almost got you the limited edition bluey, but you wanted the black one, so he returned it and got the black one. <laughs> oh. But the black one had GameCube support. The blue one didn't, funny enough. You didn't know this when you were younger. That's nice, man. I mean, <laughs> like, having the limited edition one would have been nice on the one hand, but at least you did end up getting the one with the GameCube support, though, right? Like... <laughs> It really would have sucked to to not. I mean, I guess if you had a GameCube as well, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. But it would have sucked to have to have the two different consoles. Hey, we both lived, Nate. Oh, shit. I am struggling to do this back combo a second time. Why is it not working the second time? I mean, I can just juggle them up, but I can't, like... What am I doing wrong? I don't know. I literally don't know what I'm doing wrong on this one. It just seems like... It like... Huh? Am I doing it too late? No. If I do it too soon, he doesn't... I'm gonna run out of time. Bruh. There's only been two so far, no. including this one, that I haven't been able to do within the time limit. Kept the Glam the Glam Cube, the Game Cube, even after I had the Wii. But it's funny because I really didn't know this. We just talked about the Wii differences because I told him I plan to buy one. It's picky, like really picky. I'm noticing. Advanced combos. <laughs> Jeez. 
you up against the wall so we don't miss these. Back, square. Okay. I like the regular juggle. The regular juggle is not so bad, but like... <laughs> Yeah, life works out for the better. Thankful he bought you the limited one, but you were a spoiled child and life black. And you had. Hey! What? No, we did it! We totally hit him with all three that time. Incorrect. And it didn't even count for the one. We had to do it twice, so we were screwed either way. But it didn't count the one that hit. That's annoying. Alright, try again. It needs to have, like. Maybe an example or something? Wait, what was that? Lava burst? Or a timer to help? Yeah, exactly. Like, or just like an on screen display, like, you know, uh, like karaoke style, you know? Like. <laughs> Like light up the symbols whenever we need to hit it. Just for these just for these ones where like there's pauses and stuff in it. So I, I literally don't know what I'm doing wrong. Am I hitting too early, too late? Like I hit him with that one, with all three. See, three hits. But it didn't count, so what did I do wrong? <laughs> this is insane! <laughs> you just break his fucking back. That's what you get. You can do it? You can do it, my guy. Ooh, you bastard! Okay. What's this? Na Naginaga. Naginata. I'm YouTube in it. YouTube.com Naginata Uh Mortal Um Holy shit I can't type Combat Deception Uh Looking for like a walkthrough page or something. I just need to see what's his actual name, Hotaru. Hotaru. Beating Hotaru. Oh, never mind. That's a spoiler. Uh, Hotaru's training. That's the one I wanted. Can I get this on stream? Do I have that set up? Oh god, it's like tiny though. I really don't care about this ad. Skip.
Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I just want to see how to do the one move. Okay, not that one. What? Hold on, show that again. Roll roll the tape back. So maybe I am waiting too late or too soon. Maybe I'm doing it too soon. Maybe I need to wait later. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, get rid of that. Just try it again. It's weird, like, I'm not doing the second part of the attack. There we go, dude. And the second one was easy. <laughs> see, that's all I, I just needed an example. I just needed to see someone else do it so I knew what I was aiming for. I wish they had that just in the game itself. That'd make it a hell of a lot easier. You've shown that you are indeed a formidable warrior. Show me that you can handle style branching combos. Also, I just realized I forgot to hit the transition button. So y'all probably never saw the YouTube video that I pulled up. It just, uh, you probably just saw this. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm a professional. <laughs> Back in my day, there was no YouTube to help. Tell me about it, my guy. Trying to beat games like uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask or something like that with no YouTube, didn't have money to buy the official game guide. At best, we got text posts on game FAQs. Like, <laughs> you've shown that you're indeed a formidable warrior. Show me that you can handle style branching combos. <laughs> Copyright might be an issue. I mean, look, it's all gameplay. So like, technically it's a gray area for everyone. You literally had a flip phone too. Nice. Yeah, I got a... When did I get a smartphone? I was in college when I first got a smartphone. So I would have been either 17 or 18 years old. So that would have been roughly 2010 whenever I got a very cheap Android smartphone. Before that, I had either a flip phone or uh, uh, one of those old Nokia brick phones. I had one of those when I was like, I don't know, 10-ish or something, 10, 12? 12 maybe I think is when I first got it. It was like a track phone, little flip phone thing, or not flip phone, but like brick. Used that for a couple years. Got a, or no, my next phone, I don't think it was a flip phone. I think it was one of those sliding ones actually, because I liked having the full, um, the full keyboard for texting and stuff, because I used to text a lot. Nowadays, good luck getting a hold of me. But uh, yeah, so it's like one of those slide ones. You always thought Nokia cameras were cute. I don't even know what the Nokia cameras look like. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tiny Nokia phone from Singular. Mine was with track phone, I'm pretty sure, but yeah. Now you'll learn secret side-on fighting moves. I will teach you our special attacks. Nice. Define the laws of physics, I like it. Well done, now try this one. Lava burst. We already did this one. That should be easy. Oh, well, we missed that. Gotta have the range right on this one, because it like passes through them to hit the ground. Gotta have it lined up just right. Sidon Guardsman can perform any of the previous special attacks on command. Ooh. Hey, Origin19. Thank you so much for the follow, my guy. Attack me with all of them. I can't see what it says, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, we're, we're just fighting now. Oh, you bastard. How do you like being kicked in the dick? Now they have a flip phone galaxy. Exactly, dude. Which, I mean, I do think the new flip phones with the foldable screens are neat. As you know, Nate, because I was talking about... Uh, or as Nate knows, because I was talking to him about maybe buying one. He sells cell phones. Um, but anyways... I uh, decided not to. I just don't think it's worth the money. And, like, the screens can break so easily on them. And it's just like, bruh. 
flip phones are a thing again? Uh, so like, I mean, some people do still use regular flip phones, but now I'm talking about the folding screen phones, right? Where it like either opens up like a DS for the fold or there's the, the Galaxy Flip, which uh, flips open like a flip phone, but it's like a whole smartphone with a foldable screen and whatnot. Round one, fight! Okay, so... <laughs> Dude, come on. Uh, okay. Oh, you dick! <laughs> ah! <laughs> that wasn't me. That was the other Hataru. <sighs> Try again. Round one. I, I'm Fight. not one of those people that can pick up a character instantly. I just need time. How do we... I hate how many low attacks they're all doing. I can't... <laughs> I can't do the low, the low fighting. One more hit on him, please. No. Huh. That was close. Wins. Galaxy Flip seems to be the one that doesn't break as much. You heard the DS flip flips break easily. I uh I don't know, do they? The Nintendo DS? I never personally had a problem with it, but I wouldn't be that surprised, I guess. Especially for like the target market of kids. You are now an honorary member of the Satan Guardsmen. Go now and defeat the leader of the resistance. His name is Darius. When you have completed this task, meet me here. As you command. The DS flip phone. Oh, the uh, Samsung Fold, they call it. That one. Yeah. Yeah, I would have. I mean, it's like. It's the same kind of flip, but like a lot bigger, right? Like the, the hinge is a lot bigger, so it makes sense that it would break more easily, I guess. I would be iffy about either one, though, honestly. Like, they both scare me. <laughs> Between that and the fact that it's like, yeah, a thousand plus dollars for the, for, the, for the flip, for the regular flip. It's just like, yeah, no, I'm good. I don't I don't think I need that, man. Especially because these days, I don't really do anything with my phone anymore, you know? It's not like when I was younger and I used to play games and, and emulate and, and and all of that stuff. Right, uh, developed a little bit for my phone and, and what? Well, just for Android in general. Like, I don't do any of that stuff anymore, so I don't need a high-end phone. I have a Google Pixel 6a, and honestly, it's like, it's perfect for me. And I pay $7 a month for my phone. I get a new phone every two years. Like, not including service. So, like, I'm just gonna stick with that, man. Known as Darius? And what if I am? If you are the leader of the Resistance, I have been ordered to defeat you in combat and bring this riot under control. You have found your man. I am Darius. I look forward to resisting arrest. <laughs> I look forward to resisting arrest. What a cool guy. You just want to clap the phone down like a flip? Yes, that is the one thing. But that's also another problem. Like, that's so... I love that feeling, right? But I love it so much of, like, flipping a phone shut and hearing it clack and whatnot that, like, I, that I would also end up breaking it. <laughs> Specifically because of that. <laughs> like... <laughs> because I would just spend all day clicking the, the phone or, or flipping the phone... Yeah, the phone. Flip, flipping the phone shut over and over again. God, I can't English, dude. That was pure luck. Chocobo, what's up, my guy? It would, it would probably break it. Yeah, probably. I love how you're voting on Machina Bur abridged again. <laughs> I'm gonna get around to it, man. I promise. <laughs> the other one's still on the list too. It's not like we can watch it on stream. <laughs> oh my God, you suck. Die. Look, I only remember how to do, like, one move. 
if I could juggle, then we probably wouldn't be having this problem. <laughs> but no. Not me, dude. <laughs> Cannot. I have not. I own a couple of them. Let me pull up Steam here real quick. Because I do own a couple of the newer Mortal Kombat games. For Steam, at least one or two of them. Uh, but I don't remember which one exactly. I have Mortal Kombat Complete and Mortal Kombat X. But I haven't played either one of them. So, yeah. Darius the Mortal Kombat Blade that I want to come back. He does seem like a pretty cool character, I'm not going to lie. I also haven't seen the new Mortal Kombat movie. Noodle and I went to... Noodle's my girlfriend, for anyone who doesn't know. Noodle and I went to the movies to watch it. Well, it was like a drive-in theater. Um, we watched the first movie, but it was getting pretty late, and we decided to leave and didn't end up getting to see the second one. I have like. defeated Darius, Commander Hotaru. Well done. It seems the rioters have been demoralized. Your service is no longer required. As promised, I will now depart for the city of Lei Chen in Outworld. Thank you, Hotaru. I will meet you there. So how can these guys move between realms without having to have the Kajinko, but we need the Kajinko to move around? Like, you didn't like Eleven? They massacred your girl? Oh, no. Which one? Which one's your girl? Melina? Uh, Jade? I don't remember who the other ones are. Mortal Kombat 11 is trash. Damn. And the movie is trash? I don't know. The movie... Okay. Like I said earlier in the stream, Slim Shaney is. <laughs> Look, thanks for the follow, dude. Um, like I said earlier, the original movies I know were trash, but like I still want to watch them again, like go back and watch them because I grew up with them. Um, that's really all there is to it. The, uh, the newer movie I want to see just because, you know, I'm interested in it. I like Mortal Kombat. I'm just not that deep into the lore or anything. Auto-saving. Save successful. Let's go. The originals are trash, but it's enjoyable. Yeah. Like, growing up, I loved them. But, man. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I'm Slim. Nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Stream. Nice to meet you, too. How you doing today, my guy? You were thinking a different person? Who were you thinking? I figured it was Melina or Jade, but only because, like, those are the only two that I can remember. What other women are there? Isn't there, like, a, uh... Isn't there, like, a beefy, like, a really buff? Sonya... No. Sonya's not the one I was... Wait, is Sonya the buff one? Man, it's been a long time since I've played Mortal Kombat games. Sonya Blade. No, Sonya's the, the cop-looking one. Who was... Isn't there, like, a buff girl? Or am I thinking of... I might be thinking of, uh... Street Fighter, though. Thought he meant Jane. Melina wasn't massacred, though. Oh. Oh, did he mix them up? 10 and 11. Shiva? Maybe... Yeah, that I, that might be who I was thinking of. I'm not positive, especially because this image is super low res, the one that I'm looking at. But that's vaguely the, the thing that I had in my, my mind. Big forearm lady. Yes, 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 yes. Been searching for a while for somebody streaming in this game? Well, then you've come to the right spot. <laughs> I don't know how much longer we'll be streaming it. Just because I don't know how much longer the game's going to last. We are going to finish the game. Uh, if not this Wednesday today, then next Wednesday, probably. Although, I have been warned that the final fight is a real pain in the ass. So, we'll see. <laughs> I've already struggled with a couple of the fights. I'm not very good at Mortal Kombat games. Jujinko, you have returned. It is good to see you again, Hotaru. It seems the city is no longer under siege. I drove off the invaders. They will most likely regroup and resume their assault, but I will stay to protect the city as long as is needed. I have taken control of this city in the name of order, as we agreed. 
However, King Zephyro seemed not to recall that arrangement. Men often do not recall the details of bargains they make out of desperation. It makes no difference. The agreement is binding. As punishment for his forgetfulness, I have stripped him of his position. I now rule this town in the name of Sado. Uh, congratulations, Hotaru. Now, if you will excuse me, I must see to its governing if I am to keep this town under control. Nice, so we just help them <laughs> straight up steal this town. I mean, at least the citizens are still alive, right? So it's probably for the better. And, I mean, like, they're not necessarily talking about murdering the old governor. I'm worried that might be what happened, but, you know... I'm sure it's fine. Everything's fine. Come with us, human. Do not resist. You are outnumbered. This is the Overlord's emissary, the one who brought the Satan warrior Hotaru to defend the walled city of Lei Chen. I have lost many Tarkatan warriors to your treachery, human. You were to convince the Overlord to surrender, not bring him reinforcements. He would not surrender. I did not wish to see his people suffer for his decision. Whatever quarrel you may have had with Overlord Zephyro, you had no right to punish them as well. Shao Kahn's order is all the right I need. Overlord Zephyro defied him. When Shao Kahn discovers that our assault has failed, our punishment will be severe. I should allow my whore to rip you to pieces. Yes. Allow your soldiers to do what you are too frightened to do yourself. What? I am Baraka, leader of the Takata. I fear no one, least of all a human. Then and fight face me, me bitch. in combat. If you are so sure of your strength, what he kill said. me yourself. But if I emerge victorious, you must complete one task for me. <laughs> Agreed. My warriors will enjoy eating your flesh when I am done with you. Starts with an S. Shao Kahn? I feel like it's going to be Shujinko, to be honest. Like, we're going to end up fighting ourselves To prevent the Dragon Lord from... ...re-emerging or whatever. But... ...obviously I don't actually know. Round one. Fight! Oh my god, we're so going to lose, dude. <laughs> Huh. Just cheese the shit out of it, maybe? Come on. Ah, uh, no! Ah, uh, dude! Huh, I suck so bad. It's fine. We'll fight again. Round two. Are you just doing story stuff or are you doing side things too? I started by doing side things, uh, but then once I realized the side stuff seems to only really unlock like characters and things for the for the arcade mode, I decided to to skip that stuff in, in the interest of just doing the the main story stuff. Baraka knows how to block? <laughs> That's a problem. Oh, God. Ah, dude. We got this. We'll try again. I just need to learn how to play this dude a little bit. Round one. Fight. Like, it's interesting always playing as different people, not being stuck to the same character for too long. But at the same time, man, it really doesn't give me the chance to learn anyone. How do we break again? Hold on. Give me, give me something here. I like... The Naginata. Uh, da, 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 da. 
back in triangle for a low attack. I wish there was some standardization, man, <laughs> to like what's low attacks, what's high attacks, all that stuff. Hot and shin splitter. Cartwheel pain. Oh, nice. Most unlockable stay there except the Round beginning two. ones. Yeah. Fight. And like I'm not against having unlockables like that, right? In fact, I kinda I kind of enjoy that sort of stuff. But it's like At the same time, it's just like I was hoping there would be like some RPG mechanics or something to the game. Like if we did side missions, we would level up or something like that. But I guess that's not really in the, in the spirit of Mortal Kombat, which is fine. He has the same... Oh my god, dude. We're fighting a lot more. Aggressively than you were before. Damn. We got one kill on him at least. Definitely struggling more with this fight than we have any of the other ones so far. Fight. How to break? Is that listed in the move list? No. Bouncer? Grasshopper. There we go. Ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> Shooting his blade at us. Remember your first time playing this? It blew your mind for the time. We're not even gonna get like a solid hit on him. Hey, Noodle. Oh, what, was it back in square to, for the juggle? Back in square, okay. Starting to get nervous. You've only got an hour before your midterm, and it's fucking short essay and major essay answers. You got this, my guy. I totally get being nervous, but you, you got this, man, honestly. Oh my god, you suck so much. I cannot hit this guy. Fine. Your hand is gonna hurt <laughs> from writing so much. You need a cooler background? You need a cooler background. What's wrong with my background? It's just clear. Ah. You're too good at blocking. <laughs> Bro. Okay. Round one. Fight. Yeah. <laughs> 
What was the other up attack? Back square? Oh, okay. There's one. Round two. Fight. <laughs> No, 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 no! Ah. <laughs> okay, one to one. Round three. Fight. I could have swore I was holding the block button. Oh, there we go. I, I don't know how I did the breaker, but I, I did one. <laughs> now I'm scared for the final fight. <laughs> One more hit on it, please. Bro, I was so scared there for a moment. I'm not gonna lie. I thought we were fucked. One one. How do we do? I'm gonna keep forgetting. Forward, forward, circle, or down, back, square. Forward, forward, circle, down, back, square. Round three. Fight. <laughs> Dude, come on. I knew how to do the break. 
No! <laughs> Whew, okay. It's fine. Everything is a okay. Round one. Fight. Wish I remembered how to do the break. <laughs> Oh, shit. We're doing worse, not better. That was so bad. <laughs> No, please. Please. No. Oh, 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 oh. We did it. Just one, though. We still got to beat him again. Still got to beat him again. Don't get too excited yet. That's not a good way to start. Why can I not hit you at all? Or so fuck. Yep. <laughs> One little touch to the shin. That's all it took at that point. Fair. We're going to try one more time, and then I think we're going to go to a break, because me getting too worked up is not going to help anything. If I could get the juggle timings down... Let's go. There's one. You're showing your mother a group of blanks that her mommy can do. She seriously wanted to argue on whether. Wait, what? <laughs> Why, dude? Just need to look for his opening. Trying to get that juggle. No block. Take it slow. <laughs> Thank God. Huh. Okay. You wish they made a newer open world Mortal Kombat or semi open world, I guess, in this case? Yeah, dude. Like, honestly, the fighting mechanics are really good in Mortal Kombat. It's just, for me, rough to get used to new characters. So I would love more 
You have defeated me, human. Open world exploration based like Mortal tell Kombat games when I was do. proper stories. And tell me quickly before I change my mind. You are a powerful warrior, Baraka. I ask that you teach me your fighting techniques. A great warrior I am, human. I will show you why I am the most feared Tarkatan in the Shao Kahn's army. Oh shit, now we're doing training? Okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll come back because, like I said, I do want to take a quick break. I got to use the restroom, make sure my water's all filled up and stuff. But uh, yeah, ever since she converted herself, she thinks she knows better. And it's like, dude, are you kidding me? You're gonna Poor defend Rocker. them? I told her ass that if you ever find out she joined a single group of radicals, you report her ass. Yeah, like there's nothing wrong with that religious group, no more than you know any other religious group or anything like that. Nothing against them, but to deny that you know reality like the things they do that's just bruh <laughs> what are you doing in response she said she wouldn't talk ever again <laughs> oh my god hey you did it yeah we did it dude it's been your favorite realm so far thematically honestly probably the realm of order the the, the earth realm is pretty cool the chaos realm i like just the idea of everything just being chaotic and dumb like not dumb but you know what i mean just like just pure chaos everything's just whatever the hell it is <laughs> like thematically i think that's pretty cool noodle thank you so much for the five bits love appreciate you um but like from layout and whatnot i think the the realm of order is pretty cool and then earth realm i guess just because you know it's homely. <laughs> it reminds me of the world I live in. Surprise, surprise. But uh, anyways, guys, yeah, like I said, I do need to stretch my legs, make sure my water's full, use the restroom and all that. So we're going to take like, a, I don't know, maybe three minute break and then we'll be our beat. Cheer. Thank you, love. Number one supporter over here. <laughs> Hacking hack Twitch on computers being a jerk again, and you already cleared your cookies. I think your computer and Twitch just don't get along, period. <laughs> like, at all, ever. Just, uh, the worst of enemies, obviously. You ate all your cookies, too? Man, a cookie sounds fantastic right now. Do we want to be Jenna Ferrante, crowd-pleasing favorite with all-round racing talent, or Abel Vorsch, playboy maverick with a wide streak of luck and skill? And then, looks like we got a lot of unlockables, actually. Jenna? You want to be Jenna? We can do Jenna. I am not particular to either one. Oh, they have stats. Let's pull up their stats. So, top speed, armor, weight, thrust, handling, and skidding. And she has a bit more armor, a bit less top speed, lower weight, lower handling, lower skidding. It... Almost just seems like she's worse in every way, except she has a tiny bit more armor. Street Gang Bike, customized and tuned for racing. Lightweight Pro Blade style, popular in the street racing leagues, huh? You wouldn't be surprised your laptop is old, but still. I mean, you would think it would still handle something like Twitch just fine, though, you know? Manual or auto? We're going auto for sure, because I can hardly pay attention to what I'm doing as is. Uh, adding more complexity is just a guarantee that we are going to get screwed. Uh, purple purpose blah, blah, blah. San Key San San Kai Speedway. I don't know. Mata Y <laughs> Hydro Dam and Shoreline Print through natural. What's that? Natural Chicanas. I don't know these words. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna do a quick uh, three lap race just to get a handle of it regular advanced professional i guess regular just to kind of get a feel for what the hell we're doing i'm not sure was there like a story mode or anything like that or or a campaign to go through or do we just race and as we we race we just unlock shit for like every win or something like that i have no clue i don't even know what the go button is looks like x okay uh everybody else is slow as shit apparently Oh, yeah, look at that. Already going 800 miles an hour. <laughs> okay. Is there, like, a boost button? So that's, uh, look behind. Oh, okay. R2 seems like boost. Drafting. Okay, so that's good. Square is break, and that's change view. That's not what we wanted to do. S circle is repair. Is that what it said? 
Oh god. The handling on this is... Wow. This makes you dizzy? Yeah, it's making me a bit dizzy too. <laughs> how do we how do we build up boost? I don't know if there's something we gotta do for it. Is there any reason not to hit the walls? I imagine we're probably taking a little bit of damage, right? It definitely feels fast though. I'll give them that. Like it's got a great sense of speed moving around here. Seems like any time we turn, we lose a lot of speed, whether we hit a wall or not. I'm sure hitting walls isn't helping, but like. <laughs> uh, I don't think we need to save the re replay. You will not be able to return to the screen. That's that's fine. <laughs> Pod racing is better. I would love to play that game again someday. That was what N N64 and probably PlayStation One as well, right? Star Wars Pod Racing. Didn't they just make a remake of that for the Nintendo Switch as well? They did like four different Star Wars games, if I remember correctly. Two per cartridge. Okay, so that was what? Was that just Quick Race Mode, I think, is what we just did? Yeah, so Championship. Race your way to glory across the different worlds of the Higamini? Higamini. <laughs> Time trials. Multiplayer. Very cool. Replays and both. There we go. We are back. Got my water. I sat too far away. All filled up. Very nice. Also, while I was down there, I was thinking of like the idea of a open world Mortal Kombat game and kind of what that would be like. And for some reason, my mind kind of fell on the idea of like Mortal Kombat Skyrim. <laughs> and that just made me like chuckle a little bit. Like, just the idea of running around this fantasy world like Skyrim or whatever, but then every time you come across an enemy, you just, you know, go into, like, one of these arena-style <laughs> fighting games and just fucking beat the shit out of, like, a wolf or a dragon or something like that. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> just a ridiculous idea. But, uh, no, I do agree, though, that a new open-world-ish Mortal Kombat game would be really cool. You were thinking about cleaning the kitty fountain? Wow, that too forever. Wow. Imagine not being able to type, Mr. I, uh... <laughs> no, I, I do plan on cleaning the fountain, but you're going to have to remind me later. I can't do it right now in the middle of the stream, love. You will now learn low attacks. Begin with these Silat basic low attacks. Down X. Down circle. Back X. Back circle. I'm going to forget all of these, just like I did with the last guy whose name I've already forgot. The Tarkata are the embodiment of brutality. We'll now teach you Silat power and pop-up attacks. Elbows. Nice. <laughs> just decked in the face. I like it. Triangle. Down triangle. Up X. No, I did not. Should I? Yeah, those both sound good, love. Either one of those uh, meal ideas sound good. Um, either way, buying a pack of veggies sounds like a good idea. You'll have learned much, but we have taught you only single attacks. You will now learn Silat basic combos. Square, square. Back square, triangle. Ooh. Back square, X. Like how you're learning from just standing there while you beat them? Yeah. <laughs> while they're just standing there. Excellent. You have mastered caught in basic combos. Let's see how you fare with more advanced Psylite combos. Psylite. It's a weird name for that. Ungar? Scratching palm, spinning million palm, spinning hook kick, twisting side kick. Successful. For some reason, just the idea of uh, Baraka teaching somebody else how to fight at all just seems weird to me. Like, I can't see him doing much more than just killing other people. 
not teaching them how to, to fight in his style. I mean, I guess he probably had to teach, you know, his army ways of combat to some degree, but I don't know. It just feels weird, man. Success. Wait, that was it? Just square triangle? Okay. Blades, let's go. Road slash? You mean instant death? It's weird, the inside of his uh, of his blade was purple there for a moment. I don't know if it was like the texture didn't load properly or what that was about. Base Impaler, let's go. Okay, so that always knocks them over you though. A couple of attacks are, of his attacks are like that. Where it knocks them behind you. I don't know if you'd be able to use that to keep juggling or not. I guess if you're like pinned up against a wall or something, though, that could be handy. Success. There it goes again. See? Purple. A special. I like it. Oh shit, I fucked that up. You got bugs, so you don't know. I answered you. Yeah, no, I said either one sounds good, but either way, some uh, vegetables would be nice to have. Um. Sneaky, sneaky. Holy shit. It's a long combo. I think that might be the uh, longest combo we've, we've learned yet. Damn, dude. Wait, which one? I think we start with. Do we start with Silac? Oh. I don't know. I think I must be mistiming the L1. Like, why isn't the L1 part doing it? I'm just going to start mashing that one. It's not doing anything. No. Hmm. Try that one again, I guess. But we do start on Silat, so that's good. Oh, well. <laughs> For some reason it worked that time. I didn't do anything different. I I don't know. We weren't up against the wall. So maybe that's what makes the difference? That's how we do our Melina attack. Stab people in the face, I like it. 
Sometimes it just doesn't register and you notice that as a child. Yeah, it's a little weird sometimes. But... Ooh, ooh, chop Chop Blades. I like the Chop Chop Blades. In battle, you may be required to use any of our Tarkadon special attacks at any given time. Attack me with all three of them. I will enjoy watching you fail. Why didn't that one? That one didn't register. So for the chop chop blades, it seems like it didn't register unless you hit with like right away. Round one. God, we have to beat you again. Dude, you, you are a lot easier this time than like you were last time. You're not blocking, like, nearly as much. I mean, I guess it wouldn't have fit, like, thematically. But I feel like it should have been this. And then... And then the fight against him. Dude, come on. Just hit him one more time. Please just hit him one more time. Bro! I just said that it was easier. <laughs> just one little tap to the shin. That's literally all it took. Oh, that would have been embarrassing. Ooh. What realm is that? Must be the last one, the one we haven't been in yet. Enough. I have shown you enough of my combat skills. I must keep some techniques to myself. I thank you for what you have shown me. I will command my troops to allow you safe passage from our encampment. Go back to your portal and never return to this realm. Yes, I will leave this realm at once. There is nothing more that I need here. Okay. I shall gladly leave as soon as I find out how. This way? Looks like this way. Maybe not. <laughs> Where's the exit? Hello. Who are you? I do you not gotta go. To Bye, love. You further. Leave me. What? <laughs> I will. Wait, what'd you say? The second time? I do. Uh, well, are you gonna? I do not. Okay. Well, I guess she doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Also. I can't move. Uh. Oh no, the game bugged. I literally can't move. Like, my joystick's still working. But. Ah. But it's not like. <laughs> that I can't move. It's, <laughs> uh, okay, well, save and quit, I guess, and hopefully after reloading, it will work. Oh. You wish you could listen to music for this man? It would help some, wait, you can't listen to music even? That sucks. You love the walk around and punch people mechanics? Yes, 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 yes. Don't forget me and don't forget the kitty time. I'll try not to, but... So if you could send me a text to remind me, that would be very helpful, love. Yes, goodbye, Rue. Good luck. You got this, my guy. No worries. Okay, fingers crossed. Can we move? Yes, we can move now. Thank God. I was legitimately a little bit worried there. Now, how do we get out of here? This door is open. That wasn't so hard. Oh, that screenshot was from Outworld. 
the one that I didn't know where it was from. I didn't see the faces on the trees before. That makes sense. Outworld's pretty cool, too. It's just kind of like the human realm, but more purple. Or Earth realm. More purple. And also, you know, there's... The Tarkart Tarkatan running around. Like Baraka. Don't see too many of those in Earth realm. So now it's back to the the realm of order, right? Whatever that one was called. Chujiko, I bring the tidings. What do you mean, Damashi? You have sacrificed much in your service to the elder gods these long years. Therefore, they are granting you that which you have desired since your childhood. A chance to compete in the Mortal Kombat tournament in Earthrealm and defeat the sorcerer Shang Tsung. I do not know what to say. How did they know of my dreams of defeating Shang Tsung? Long ago, I watched you from afar as you played with your childhood friends. It was quite clear that you worshipped the warrior Kung Lao. But unlike your hero, you will be more than a match for Shang Tsung. You have absorbed the fighting styles of many great warriors. Now is your chance to fulfill your dream. Thank you, Damashi. I will return to Earth Realm at once. Unexpected twist. Okay. We're going back to Earth Realm then. We still haven't gone to this one though, whatever that one is. And I don't think we've gotten the thing. Oh, I didn't mean to actually go in that. I don't think we've gotten the. What are they called? Kamadash? No, no. Damashi's that dude. I can't remember. <laughs> we haven't gotten the, the artifact from this one yet. Kamidogu, thank you. Yep. What are you loading from? No, whatever. And back we go. Oh, it's literally just called Order Round. Makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Save successful. Very good. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does it need a load? Like from the memory card. I get that it needs to load the area or whatever, but it's weird that it saves and then like instantly after it's done auto saving, it loads something from the memory card. As soon as you get to the level. I guess it's probably loading like what chests and stuff you've opened maybe. Something along those lines. Kind of curious as to how the Order Realm is floating. Magic stones? <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. No clue at all. Hey, it's good to be back. How many years has it actually been, I wonder? since we've left here. Like, if we go back, can we go back and see our old master? Where? Okay, that's his house over there, so we just need to follow this road. I'm just curious if he'll still be there and what he has to say for us for stealing his medallion all those years ago. Hello, Master. Do you wish to repeat his training? Oh, no. You have found my medallion. Thank you, Shujinko. You performed a good deed without promise of reward. I commend you. Take these coins as an expression of my gratitude. Really? No. <laughs> no remark on us being like, a dozen years older? <laughs> I don't know. Were we? I guess we weren't actually gone for all that long, huh? Because it was only a few days, even though we aged up. It was just us. Like, the world around us didn't really move. Please excuse my curiosity, but why do you cover your eyes? Are you blind? 
Yes, due to the treachery of the sorcerer Shang Tsung. You have met Shang Tsung? He preyed upon my desire to prove my superiority in combat. He promised to show me the location of a powerful sword that would complement my skills. The sword was entombed among the souls of my warrior ancestors. Shang Tsung consumed their souls to increase his power. The experience left me blinded. Is the sword from your tail the one you now carry? Yes, the sword guides me. Over the years, it has shown me the way to use my other senses in combat. Most impressive. You are truly a warrior of distinction. Now I have but one goal, to slay the sorcerer who blinded me. Doing so will free the consumed souls of my ancestors. If you provide me with his location, I will teach you to fight without your eyes. I am to enter his Mortal Kombat tournament. When I find him, I will return to you with any information I uncover. My search for Shang Tsung will continue here in the north. I suggest you look in the southwest. Southwest, okay. Game starts in year one, you think. Okay, so 15 years. But we did spend a few years training with him. I don't remember how many. But I know we spent some amount of time training with the Bo Rai Shou. So that's probably part of the 15-ish the years that have passed. This is sacred ground, stranger. I am Night Wolf. I must ask you to leave this place before your evil taint defiles the sanctity of these grounds. I do not understand. I am Shujinko. I assure you that I mean no disrespect to your people. I sense corruption in your soul, Shujinko. A spiritual contamination that I have never before perceived. I feel no touch of evil, but my travels have taken me to many worlds. Perhaps it is a result of my journeys in the Nether Realm. It is possible. If you will allow me, I may be able to purge this contagion from your being, although it will take many years to accomplish. Many years? It will delay my quest, but I suppose I should take advantage of your offer. Many years? Aren't we supposed to be going to the Mortal Kombat? <laughs> like, hmm. Are they just going to wait for us in the meantime? You've trained with him and he aged up from the Chaos Realm Goo Pit or whatever it was. Yeah, but the aging up from the Goo Pit, they said that like it was only a couple of days um, like for the world, but for us it aged up, right? So like we look much older, but the world isn't much older. At least that's how I understood it. Maybe I uh, misread, misheard. Love how the cleansing ritual that he was talking about is just us kicking each other's ass. Like, <laughs> it's obviously how you cleanse your soul. Life is a series of events leading to a conclusion. It is not unlike Valtudo basic combos, which allow you to execute one attack after another until you reach. Victory. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have you learned the basics? Let's learn advanced. Noise. Next lessons will encompass encompass Taekwondo high attacks. You learn quickly. Okay, so with him at least, high attacks are just no buttons, just pressing. Square triangle X. Or square triangle or square X circle. Huh. Down square. Down X. Down circle. I like this. <laughs> that, that's how it should be. Down in an attack button, low attack. Regular button high attack. Nice and simple. Except for triangle. Triangle seems to be mostly centered around knocking people up. I don't know. If I were going to take the time to learn a character, 
I think this is probably the one I'd want to learn, honestly. So far, he's one of my favorites just for how he controls. Oof. Hmm. The Tomahawk's basic low attack will also aid you later in your journeys. Thigh chop, foot chop, stomach chop, <laughs> shin buster. Excellent. Surprised that wasn't shin chop. My wolf's pretty good. You like playing as it too? Yeah, if we do do any stuff outside of the story mode, he may be my main. Growing up, my main was always uh, Sub-Zero, but that's just because I liked his ice attacks. I, I mean, growing up as a kid, I was just 100% button mashing. I, I hardly understood anything about combos other than doing this specific combo freezes people. <laughs> that's all that mattered to me, right? Um... So, like, I, I don't really know how he plays, how it feels to play him. I just know freezing people? Pretty cool. Square time, four time. Nice. Square triangle X. Okay. Trying to remember some of these. Much like a spider's web, life is interconnected. To understand this, practice connecting your fighting styles together during combos to create intricate attacks. Not bad, not bad. Sub Zero is pretty decent in this game. Yeah, I remember him from pretty early on. Damn it. Uh, and I did enjoy playing as him. But I, so far, I think I like Nightwolf more. Show that you can handle this last style branching combo. Feel like that one should have been in, in the beginning, not at the end. <laughs> that one was pretty easy compared to the others, not gonna lie. Mystical fighting moves. Ooh. They move so slow, man, the projectiles. Well done. Well done. Has arrows sticking literally through his body. It's weird this one doesn't have a name. Which lightning strike? Bet I'm gonna forget all these, man. Oh, you have a lot of special moves, huh? Ow. Oh, this is a timed one, okay. But see, like, they have the ability to put timers on screen, which is all the more reason I feel like they should have had timers for the, uh, the juggling stuff. <laughs> Why did mine miss in his hit? That's annoying. Too much. Round final fight, one. or for the final test fight. fight, you got you. <laughs> Trying to practice the special moves a little bit more. Not really a juggle, but it seems like we can get him from the ground with that kick. The forward, I think it was forward triangle. 
Pretty cool, yeah. No, I do definitely think Nightwolf's my guy, dude. So Jinko spent many years with Nightwolf, who taught him much about the spirit of the warrior. We now, old man. Through Nightwolf's teachings, Sujinko expanded his consciousness and heightened his awareness. Did we learn to not trust Damigashi? Damiashi? You have accomplished much since beginning your spiritual cleansing, Shujenko. Though the taint of evil continues its hold on you, my training has given you the ability to control it. I am grateful for what you have done for me, Nightwolf. I wish you luck on your journeys. You are always welcome in the lands of my forefathers. Noise. So that was 11 years? Well, 10, 10 years and a handful of months. <laughs> So wait a second. Now because curiosity. Not this way. This way. No. Not that way either. Hold on. What? I was going to say, this road only goes so many directions, my guy. Miss Master Borai Show. Do you notice anything different about me now, sir? It's also very strange that you still look the same age as when we first met. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't notice a damn thing. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Greetings, stranger. I search for experienced fighters to take part in a competition. Do you know of any? I am quite adept at many fighting styles. Who are you? What is this contest you speak of? I am Shang Tsung. My Mortal Kombat tournament will begin soon on my island fortress. Only the best will be allowed to enter. Shang Tsung? Long have I heard tales of your foul deeds. I am Shu Jinko. Since I was a boy, I have dreamed of winning the Mortal Kombat tournament and ridding Earthrealm of your tyranny. Is that so? Then it seems I will have to test the great Shu Jinko. You are most welcome to compete, but only if you can prove that you are worthy of such an honor. Fight! Let's go! Are we gonna fight as ourselves or as. I'm assuming maybe Nightwolf, since that's the last character that uh, we learned the fighting styles of? Good luck. Thanks, man. <laughs> Your combat skill will be tested by Shang Tsung. Round one, fight! Nice. Let's go. One down. Got to win again though. It's not over yet. Fight. Got him halfway there. We got this. It's fun. Round three. Fight. I mean, we got him halfway again. I'm happy with that. We beat him once, got him halfway twice. 
I'm not upset with that. Round one. Fight! Ow. <laughs> nice. Let's go, dude. Okay, one more. I was trying to do the that. <laughs> Let's go. Hell of a lot better than when we fought Baraka. <laughs> Hell of a lot better, man. I mean, I'm sure that was Shang Tsung easy mode, but I will gladly take what I can get. Most impressive, Shujinko. You are indeed worthy to compete in the Mortal Kombat tournament. I will enjoy consuming your soul when you lose. I do not think so. It has been my greatest desire to win Earthrealm's freedom from you and your master, Shao Kahn. Of course, I am not the only one who seeks your defeat. I request that an acquaintance of mine be allowed to compete as well. He too longs to challenge you. <laughs> Would this acquaintance of yours be the blind swordsman Kenshi? He has been searching for me for quite some time, has he not? You know? There is little in this realm that escapes my attention, though I must admit I was surprised to learn that he had survived our previous encounter. Return to him and inform him that he is welcome to face me on my island in the Lost Sea. The tournament is fast approaching, however. He must hurry if he wishes to fulfill his quest for revenge. Noise. Let's go find that dude. Tell him, yo, sorry it's been 10 years and all. I've been literally like five feet that way. Um, <laughs> but you're welcome to join the combat. Shujenko, it has been many years since last we met. Although I have sensed Shang Tsung's presence on many occasions, I have not been able to locate him. I have found him, Kenshi. He has invited us both to his island to face him in mortal combat. He has been watching you. He knew that you were searching for him. I had suspected as much. This explains why I have never been able to find him. He was always one step ahead of me. I thank you for bringing me this news. I will now teach you to do battle without the use of your eyes. Aw, oh, man. Are we going to end up... I just want to keep Nightwolf. <laughs> I like Nightwolf. Let me fight as him. I mean, I'm sure... I don't know this guy's name. I don't remember. Blind Warrior, dude. I'm sure he's cool and all, but... Can she? First fighting style Tai Chi was taught to me when I was young. Kenshi, that's his name, of course. They've only said it like six times. Hey, not bad. Low attacks. Oh, my God. Again? Nice. That's the... The same as a uh, night wolf, actually, or at least very close to it. Okay. Play by ear. Oh, 
I like it. So Tai Chi is not too bad. Ken Chi's Tai Chi. Judo. Now for the basic high attacks of the Judo fighting style. Learn this during my adolescent years. Let's go. Back kick. Side snap kick. You have done well. Thanks, man. You too. Judo basic low attacks. Low palm fist. Oh, sweet. Low kick. Backward shin kick. Again, Very I like good. it. Down buttons for low attacks? That makes too much sense. Standing uppercut, uppercut. They seem very similar to each other, but... Metal. Don't know where the metal comes from in that, but okay. Let's go. That's my sleeve, like, fucking up so bad. That's weird. Katana is an elegant weapon. I will teach you to train your body and your mind to harness its power. Ooh. Good. Great stab the guy. Circle. Back X. Uh, I don't know. I think I like the Tai Chi in Judo better. Do the weapon fighting styles actually deal more damage in this game? I mean, it would make sense since you're using a weapon, but I don't know if they do or not. What his special moves are gonna be like? Mad Dog? I don't know about Mad Dog. Warpath? Excellent work. Thank you. You're bleeding a little bit. You might want to get that checked. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Okay. Fuck. Did again. Damn, I keep doing back in circle. Did the same thing again. There we go. Got it. You have done well. Very nice. Another style branch of combo. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. This one's long, dude. I think we started with Tai Chi. adjust myself. I'm not very comfortable. Ugh. Okay. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Triangle, triangle. L1, circle, L1. Triangle, triangle, triangle. L1, circle, L1. No. I fucked it up even going slow. Triangle, triangle, triangle. L1, circle, L1. Triangle, X. Triangle, triangle, triangle. L1, circle, L1. Triangle, circle, X, X. No circle in there. Okay, I was just too slow at the end there. Let's go. <laughs> That's a... That, oh, oh, there aren't them L1s in there, man. Makes things a lot harder. 
telekinetic fighting moves. Oh, so we just punching him from a distance. Okay, but we can't do it from the max distance, sadly. Yeah, we do have to be like medium range. At least. Good to know. Does that even deal damage? Oh yeah, I guess it is. Sometimes. Ooh. This one is different. Back down, back split. It's not too bad. I think that's the first one we've learned that has three steps to it, though, for the special moves. That you teleport yourself? What? Brilliant. What's the point of that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Probably maybe required you. Okay. Oh, it teleports to them. We were just so close that we didn't really, like, notice it. That makes sense. Not bad, not bad. I do think I like Nightwolf better, but uh, Kenshi here is not bad either. I think I could get into him. Round one, fight! I think I need to take a look at his special moves again. Dragon. I'm gonna try one more time first. Fight. Honestly, luck. 100%. <laughs> that was luck that I didn't get hit again without dying, dude. I totally should have. It's okay, though. I'll take it. I'm perfectly okay with luck. Now that I have fulfilled my promise, I must leave for Shang Tsung's island. I only hope he has not been defeated before I arrive. Indeed, you have a long-standing vendetta with Shang Tsung. But I have dreamed of entering the Mortal Kombat tournament since I was young. You will have to wait your turn, my friend. If he is still alive when I am finished with him, you may take your revenge. We will see, Shujinko. I will meet you on the island. Shujinko. I return to you because I sense that some change has taken place. You are different in some way. I have undergone a spiritual cleansing. The warrior Nightwolf had detected an evil stain upon my soul. 
He was unable to remove it completely, but he has given me the ability to suppress it. This is an unfortunate turn of events. Unfortunate? An evil stain has been cleansed from my soul. My sense of awareness is as heightened as it was when Master Bo Raicho trained me. The taint you refer to allows you to enter realms otherwise inaccessible to other beings. You will need to regain it in order to continue your quest. I suggest that you return to the Netherrealm. It will restore the impurities needed to enter the more accursed realms. Once your quest is finished, you are free to cleanse your spirit once more. I cannot believe that you would ask such a thing of me. Surely the contamination I am already forced to carry is enough to access... Do not question my order, Shujinko. I never promised your quest would be pleasant. You must fulfill your obligation to the Elder Gods. Return to the Netherrealm. Have you forgotten the Mortal Kombat tournament? I was on my way to Shang Tsung's island to compete. I understand your disappointment, but your dream of defeating Shang Tsung will have to wait. For now, you must fulfill your destiny. I... I will do as you ask. Bro, just don't listen to him. <laughs> like, he's just a floating ball. What's the worst that could happen if you defy him, right? He's obviously not a very good influence on you, my guy. And I don't think you should trust him. We literally just spent 10 years of our life cleansing our soul. And now we're going to purposefully go retaint ourselves. Like, bruh. <laughs> Dumb. Just punch that guy because I'm angry. Surely that's taint enough, right? <laughs> oh, it's right. Hi. Be gone. This portal is not for use by mortals. Who are you? I am the Thunder God, Raiden. Raiden. This My ancient bad. portal has been activated. I must secure it to prevent intrusion from other realms. Lord Raiden, I am Shujinko. I am the champion of the Elder Gods. It was I who opened the portal. Champion, you say? I think not. A champion of the Elder Gods would possess the might of ten warriors and could fight with his eyes closed. It is highly unlikely that you possess such abilities. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't expect this. Is he teaching us or is he actually fighting us? That I do not know. Looks like we're actually fighting. Round one. Which is not Fight. good. <laughs> I do not possess the skills with Kenji for this. Nice, let's go, dude. All right. Round two. Fight. As my last breaker, I'm so fucked. Damn! We got one more chance. No breakers, though. Round three. Fight! Oh! <laughs> 
Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised we got that, man. Oh, buddy. Okay. Thought that was going to take another try or two. Do you believe us now, Mr. Raiden, sir? Or Raiden. How's it pronounced again? I forget. Raiden, I think. You seem to possess much strength and skill, Shujinko. Forgive me for doubting you, but if the Elder Gods have indeed unleashed their champion, they must be concerned that the end of the realms is near. Your presence might be connected with the Mortal Kombat tournament here in Earthrealm. Have you come to aid us? I did come to fight for Earthrealm in the tournament, but I have recently been ordered to the Netherrealm. I am sure the Elder Gods have their reasons for redirecting you at so crucial a time. It may be that the Shaolin have already chosen their representative. In any event, I will keep a close watch over the tournament's proceedings. Shang Tsung is a treacherous sorcerer. If he wins this time, Earthrealm will belong to Shao Kahn. If you need my aid when I am finished with my task in the Netherrealm, search for me. I will gladly assist you. Thank you, Shujinko. Good luck. Thank you, Mr. God, sir. So if you're like a thunder god, are you... Who are the elder gods? I guess is what I'm really trying to ask. Like, Damashi keeps bringing them up, but I, I don't know anything about these elder gods. They're just... They just exist, apparently. And we don't know enough about them to know that Damashi's probably not actually on their side. <laughs> But if that's true, then why wouldn't the Elder Gods send someone to stop me either to talk some sense into me? I'm I'm very confused, to be honest. All right, another realm it is. Oh man! Save successful. Let's go. So we can have a loading screen. And then a loading screen. <laughs> oh shit, are we going to have to fight Shao Kahn now? Or Shang Tsung now? Rather? So he already kind of kicked our ass once. Of course, we had bleed and he had healing when we fought him before. So is this not enough? Just visiting doesn't do the trick? Guess we actually have to do stuff here. Oh man, come on. Might gotta block off all these paths. Just let us through. Excuse me, sorry. I missed. I'm a warrior. Totally. I can tell by my elite fighting skills. Where, where she? There she goes. Definitely right, one hundred percent, my guy. Uh, look. <laughs> Surely I can just jump that small gap, man. Also, was that Scorpion? I think that was Scorpion. He's pretty cool. I liked him a lot growing up too. I usually played Sub Zero, but every once in a while you had to try a little Scorpion, you know. Hello, Mr. Scorpion, sir. Unless you have knowledge of the sorcerer Quan Chi's whereabouts, do not waste my time, stranger. I have no knowledge of this Quan Chi, but I may be able to help you find him. I am Shu Jinko. I have explored this realm before and have become quite familiar with it. I have returned to the Nether Realm once again to absorb its impurities. I will likely be wandering these wastes for some time to come. If I discover this Quan Chi, I will relay to you what information I can. Price. It would seem that you have already regained some of the Netherrealm's dark taint. What price do you ask? You are obviously quite powerful in this realm. If I were to learn your combat skills, perhaps I would absorb enough negative energy to lessen my time here. Teaching you the dark rage that has consumed me since my death will only serve to delay my vengeance upon Quan Chi. I refuse your offer. Delay you at will but you will also gain an ally to aid your search. 
You will likely find Quan Chi sooner if I search with you. Your argument has merit. Very well. I will teach you my combat skills. I warn you, however, the rage of Scorpion burns deeply. Dun, dun, dun. Just stacking citizens like it's Grand Theft Auto. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, if a game's going to let you go around and just punch random people, then with no negative consequences, then why the hell wouldn't you, right? <laughs> Scorpion. Fighting styles I will teach you are but a taste of my combat rage. We we'll begin with a hop keto. Basics. Well done. Thank you, sir. Attacking low will keep your opponent off balance. X, down circle. Right X, back X. Back X, there we go. Yeah, the worst consequence is just getting hit back. Exactly. And most people don't even seem to do that. At least you're in a rage. Pop-up attacks. And power attacks. Down square. Up circle. Up circle. Down triangle for pop-ups. Basic attacks, I think, are all high attacks. You've learned much, but I have taught you only single. Release your anger for combat. Scorpion's definitely a little bit more complicated of a character to pull, it seems. But I still really like Scorpion. Just as a character. And his fighting style just looks cool, too. Plus, I mean, I grew up loving ninjas, and look at him. He's basically an evil ninja. Stone hand. Stone fingers. Nice work. Over there sound like Batman. Over tags. Nice, okay. So this is the fighting style I'm gonna wanna be in. Very nice. <laughs> Low attacks are just down and your basic buttons. I'm assuming. Back square, back X, back triangle, down triangle. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. This one's a little more like the other ones that I've learned. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Advanced combos. I don't know why. I don't know how just mashing X is an advanced combo, but I like it. Superb. Makes me feel good, you know? <laughs> like I really accomplished something. Uh, sorry, I was looking at the sword itself. Ooh. Catch it on fire? Dope. Nice work. When do I get a yell get over here? That's what we're all waiting for. Nice work. I like his sword too. Again, the the move list is just very similar to like Night Wolf, which is pretty easy to wrap my head around. You sense aggression seething within you. You must harness that aggression as you practice these devastating Mugai Ryu power and pop attacks. Sorry. Okay, so your combos, though, seem to be based around triangle instead of... I think it was X for whatever the middle one was. Oh, God. We did it. <laughs> Damn, dude, why am I? Oh, 
Why is the circle not connecting? Okay, that time I was good. Maybe I need to get like on the other side over here or something. There we go. Oh, time was getting low. Yeah, I think him hitting the wall was interfering with me, like, hitting him. You can do it? I did do it. Thank you. <laughs> Mission complete. Let's go. Special fighting moves. Backflip kick. Nice. See, it's weird, like, we're only doing his special moves twice, but whenever we were... I think it was either Nightwolf or the Blind Dude, we were doing the special moves four times each. Little lack of consistency like that are just strange. Acceptable. Oh, dope. I like that. Acceptable. Down back X, down back X. Get over here. Acceptable. Oh, we didn't pull him in that time. You didn't even mean to put that this time? You're just so used to doing it. It's just habit at this point. <laughs> like... In battle, you may be required to use any of my special attacks at any given time. Attack with all four. The wrong direction. There we go. Well done. Now I'm guessing we have to fight him. Yep. Round one. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that shouldn't have worked so many times. Throw the fire snakes at him? I don't think I have that option. I don't know if I, that's like a move you have to unlock or what, but... They didn't teach me how to throw fire snakes, sadly. I gladly would if they did, or if I can. I did not realize that such all-consuming hatred was possible. Quashi oh, just the, the rope, the body spear, or whatever they called it? And deceived me into believing Sub-Zero was their murderer. I have been corrupted by Quan Chi's wickedness. Now it is his turn to suffer. It is a heavy burden you carry. And one that will be lifted once I have destroyed the evil sorcerer. Go now and search for Quan Chi. I will remain in the nether realm until he is found, Scorpion. Let's go. How long can we follow Scorpion for? What happens if I, like, run up to him and punch him? Oh, damn. Ah, oh, he just disappears. Lame. It's been shown as a few different things. Ah, uh, okay. I thought it was always some kind of rope or something like that. At least that's the only interpretation I've ever personally seen of it. Who are you? What do you want? I am Shu Jinko. I am searching for the sorcerer Quan Chi. You have found him. I do not recognize you as a brother of Shadow. Who has sent you? I sent him. Scorpion! You thought oh, you man. could elude me here? 
the lower reaches of the nether realm, my strength increases while yours fades. I will make you suffer for killing my family and clan. Wait, are we gonna have to fight him? <laughs> are we taking control of Scorpion now? Oh wait, no, it's literally us. I thought we weird. Fight. Okay. What's the <laughs> was it forward square or back square? I'm trying to remember the the juggling combo. Up square, no. Forward square. Down square. Back square. Back triangle. I don't remember what it was. Nice. Scorpion's not bad. I could get used to Scorpion. I'm still really curious who they're gonna make us fight as for the final fight, though. <laughs> I hope it's I hope it's somebody that I can control easily enough that I can get the hang of pretty quickly. Like Scorpion or Nightwolf or I forget the one dude's name. I think he was from the Chaos Realm. There is nowhere you can run, sorcerer. I will have my revenge! I will torment you forever, sorcerer! Back! Stay back! I command you! Come here! Did you hear that? It sounds like battle! Come, we will feast upon the loser! Bruh. <laughs> All right, surely that's corruption enough, right? Back to what realm? I guess we still don't know what the last realm is. We need to get the Kumidogu, whatever it was called, from the uh, from the Order realm still to find out what the last realm is. I sense you have regained enough of the essence of this realm to continue your quest. I encountered a ninja specter named Scorpion from whom I absorbed much rage. Well done. You may leave the nether. Thank you, Damashi. I do not wish to remain another moment longer. It's like the last realm that we need to visit. Is it super corrupted or something? Or is the order realm actually like shit? Like, why did we need corruption to visit realms unless we had to come back? Because wasn't it the nether realm that if you were a being of pure good, you couldn't be in or whatever? I'm... I think the Mashi's just full of shit, dude. Because <laughs> yeah. either the story makes no sense or Damashi's just a lying bastard. And I'm going to pick the, the second option there. He just needs us to be evil for a reason. Greetings, champion. I have need of your assistance. Raiden, whatever I can do to help you, do not hesitate to ask. My time in the Nether Realm is concluded. Shang Tsung has allied with another sorcerer, Quan Chi, who has escaped from the Nether Realm. Escaped? I had just seen him there. Quan Chi possesses an item created by the Elder Gods, an amulet that acts like a key. He understands only a fraction of its potential. 
but enough to use it to escape from hell. Is it a Kami Dogu? It is not a Kami Dogu, but it is connected to them by its function. I am surprised that you would not know of it. Nevertheless, I am preparing an assault on the two sorcerers in Outworld. Though they have already killed Earthrealm's greatest hero, Liu Kang, I am gathering together the few warriors I feel I can trust to attack this deadly alliance at their stronghold. Can I count on you to help? I will go to Outworld to assist you any way I can. Excellent. It would be good to have a champion of the Elder Gods on our side. Deadly Alliance, just gonna name drop like that. How did Quan Chi, like, escape so quickly, though? Because we literally just kicked his ass. Scorpion was then kicking, it, kicking his ass. While that was going on, we returned to the, to the portal. I guess maybe he knows another way to move between realms? Maybe something to do with that key? What room are we in? Outward, okay. I didn't expect us to be revisiting each realm. I guess that helps make up for the, the time difference, right? So I was like, man, we only played for like, what, two or three hours last week? And we've already completed four of the <laughs> five realms? Whatever. All but one of the realms? That's far enough. Stop where you are. Is there a problem, sir? Name's Kano. By order of the sorcerers Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, all denizens of Outwear will submit to the rule of the Deadly Alliance. I am not a denizen of Outworld. I have traveled here from Earthrealm. Makes no difference. My men will take it to the town of Sundao. Quan Chi and Shang Tsung have a job for you, mate. And if I refuse? Do you really think you can combat us all? No, I suppose not. Then shut up and follow me. What's your name, anyway? I am called Shujinko. Well, Shujinko, welcome to hell. Along with all the other peons of this town, you'll be constructing a palace for Shang Tsung. One that is large enough to house his army. Don't even think about trying to escape. I would hate to have to kill a villager because of your defiance. Do you get me? I... I understand. Good. Now make yourself useful. Get to work. I mean, honestly, like, we might be able to take him, dude. <laughs> you didn't even try. You are supposedly the Elder God's champion and all that. One of the strongest people in all of the realms, supposedly. And he only had, like, what, three or four warriors plus himself? I think we could have taken him on. You are not from this town. Who are you? Why have you been enslaved here? I am Shujinko. I am from Earthrealm, on a quest for the Elder Gods. I have been instructed to return to Outworld to confront a growing threat here. I seem to have found it. I am Li Mei. My village was the first conquest of the Deadly Alliance. They mm. have enslaved my people. For this, I will kill them in due time. What is your plan of attack? Mm. The Deadly Alliance have offered to free my village if I win their combat tournament. I have accepted their challenge, but I intend to use the tournament as a way to get closer to them. I will attack when they least expect it. Bold words, young one, but perhaps a bit foolish. What makes you think you can defeat them both? I will concede that I am not ready to confront them yet, for I desperately need additional training. Perhaps I may be of some help. Over the years, I have absorbed much combat skill. Then you must teach me, Shujinko. Help me to save my people from oppression. I will teach you what I can, Li Mei, but I do not approve of your intention to combat the two sorcerers alone. I believe that course of action will end in misfortune. All that purple <laughs> on the screen was really, like, reflecting on my shirt and fucking up the, <laughs> the camera there. Li Mei. I'll begin your training with Luhe Bafa high attacks. Luhe Bafa, Luhe Befe. I have no idea how this is pronounced. Very good. Cool. 
Low attacks. That was... Okay, I was gonna say, that did not seem like a low attack, man. I was into it, whatever the hell it was, though. A pop-up attack of some sort. I'm starting to wonder if I've just never noticed it until recently. But do all of the fighters have one of their fighting styles? Like, that's a little bit more basic as far as, like, you know, down X, down square, down certain, like, low attacks and high attacks and shit. That actually makes sense. Because <laughs> at least the past, like, four that we've done have all made a little bit of sense. I honestly think I may have just missed that up until now, though. It just took that long for it to click in my head. Uh, our two fighting styles feel very similar to each other. That was a pelvis strike? I guess maybe. Ow. Combos. Good old one, two. It's a good name, man. Good old one, two punch. Angry ape, that's what I'm talking about. Angry broom? What? <laughs> How do they come up with this shit, honestly? I understand why a handful of them are unnamed, though. There's so many different combos. Like, it'd be a pain in the ass to name just the ones that they that they have named. Very good. I probably couldn't come up with that many unique names. Nice. Okay. Her three fighting styles are very similar to each other. At least for basic attacks. is what we want to do. I'm going to try to remember that. I'll probably end up forgetting it, but I'm going to try to remember that. Up square with the sword for juggles. Up square, sword, juggle. Up square, sword, juggle. Square sword juggle. I'm gonna end up forgetting it. <laughs> I'm really trying to remember it though. Is it super slow like all the other projectiles? It is. Very good. I mean it's fair, I guess. You gotta give people a chance to dodge it or whatever. Normally you spend so much time close to each other. It said something about Bo Rai Cho, but I didn't see what it was. I skipped through it too quick. Yes. Yes, indeed. Cool, cool. Excellent work. Fight you now. I forgot about this part. Oh, 
Oh, I'm doing that backwards. That's why it wasn't working. <laughs> now we get a fight. Down, square, sword, juggle? Round one. Fight! No. Back square. Down. Up, up square. Up square. Not a good win, but we won. I'll take it, man. Thank you for your training, Master Shujinko. Please accept this token of my appreciation. I thank you for the gift, Li Mei. Perhaps your confrontation with the sorcerers is not necessary. I know of someone who might help to free your village. His name is Hotaru. He once saved the walled city of Lei Chen from the Tarkatan hordes. I will journey there and ask for his assistance. If you think he can drive out the deadly alliance, then by all means, find this Hotaru and tell him of our plight. I will do my best to convince him to help. The guards are watching. I must not draw their attention if I am to escape your village. Goodbye, Li Mei. So wait, are we just going to give him another town? Do we really want to... I mean, the Land of Order seems decent enough, the people there. But do we, do we really want to just keep giving them towns left and right, though? I mean, they haven't done anything to clear up all these dead bodies laying about. Oh, wait, this is... This is not where we want to go. This is Baraka's zone. We want to go this way. Through here? Nope. This one? Look, it's around here somewhere. There's the gate. And before we discover he did murder everyone does seem pretty empty in here. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hotaru, it is good to see. You have violated my ordinance. You were to go indoors when the toll sounded. Ordinance? I just recently arrived. I had no knowledge of any ordinance. Ignorance is not an excuse. I am placing you under arrest for disregarding the laws of this city. Your trial will take place in the realm of order. Okay, <laughs> guess that's what happens when you break their laws. We literally just walked in the gate, though. Like, why wouldn't you close the gates if you have a law like that, you know? It doesn't seem very orderly. For untold years, Shujinko remained imprisoned, awaiting his trial. Till he was finally brought to a holding cell, his day in court had arrived. We are now very old man. Uh, hi there. Would it be bad if I punched one of you? Aw, oh, what? I literally can't? That's lame. Do I have to talk to you? What is this place? Why have I been taken from my cell? You are about to enter the judicial court of the realm of order. You have been brought here to defend yourself against the charges brought against you by Commander Hotaru. After all these long years, justice will at last prevail. Surely I will not remain imprisoned for a law as frivolous as a curfew. I would not be as confident if I were you. Doors I know this door's locked. Let me out. No desire to convert. Bruh. Oh, okay. Is this the resistance that we helped crush forever ago? These were the guards I was sent to dispose of? Fah! Surely you could have slain them yourself. 
Why have you killed them? Who are you? I am Dairu. An associate of yours was concerned that certain obligations you have to him are not being met. I was contracted to remove any obstacles you might be facing. Tomashi, I cannot believe that he would instruct you to kill these men in order to free me. Not instructed, paid. Mercenaries do not work for free. This Tomashi offered me generous compensation to free you. Do not be so sure of your chances with the judge. I was once a soldier among their ranks until I was unjustly imprisoned. You would have been incarcerated for decades for this seemingly minor charge, I assure you. I cannot say that I approve of your actions, but I suppose a certain amount of gratitude is in order, Dairu. There is one other matter. I am to give you this key to the courtroom door. I took it from one of the guards. I will leave you now, but if you ever have need of my services, search for me in the realm of order. Just remember to bring plenty of coins. Wait, 47? Last we looked, wasn't it 20? We were kept for 20 years? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Just awaiting trial? Holy shit, my guy. So Earthrealm's probably gone by now, right? Uh, you look dead. Okay, well, how do we get in? Oh, that's weird. I pressed X on it before, it just didn't do anything. Shujinko, I am disappointed with you. Otaru! I thought I had trained you to appreciate order, to obey the law. Now I find that you have killed two officers and have broken into a courtroom. I did not kill those men. An assassin named Dairu. Now you are consorting with known felons to free yourself. Had you simply waited for your trial, you would have no doubt been found innocent. In fact, I have come here to testify in your defense. Now it seems that you will be facing a sentence of death. If it has come to that, I have no other choice but to resist arrest. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you did kind of keep me locked up for 20 years for walking into a town with open gates, basically. So... <laughs> Round one. Fight. This music is... Oh, God. Oh, Oh god. Oh Jesus, man. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, we're so fucked. <laughs> Holy crap, okay. Try again. You got this. Just take it slow, wait for an opening. If we have to just do grabs, we will. He's only got one break left, so I mean... <laughs> Look, <laughs> it's dumb. I don't like fighting this way, but whatever works, though. Nice. Okay, one one. Back to the cheese, man. <laughs> I mean, it's not really cheese. It's just the safest way to fight. Oh, God. Oh, 
we're so fucked. I should just should just did grabs from the beginning, man. <laughs> it's fine. We'll retry. Round one. Fight. I'm trying to remember. I thought it was. I don't want to. I don't want to lose if I can help it. Damn. Well, <laughs> apparently we can't help it. Round two. Fight. Oh, I'm what? Oh my god, dude. Are you suddenly so much harder than you were a moment ago? Oh my god. <laughs> Move list. Uh, this one. Deadly blade. Was it deadly blade? Down triangle? No, it was one of these ones. Must have been up square. You think it learns how you fight over the game? That would make sense. I don't know if it actually does or not, but. Got to keep waiting for openings. There we go. There's one. I was holding the block button. Round three. Fight. Oh, shit. Holy hell, dude. Break, break, break. No, break. Oh, why, why is the break not working? Uh, I think it's block with then circle and forward, I think. Maybe it's, maybe I have to hold, not press. Maybe that's the problem. There 
There we go. Dude. One. One more. That's all we need. Just one more. Lock and hold towards the opponent. There we go. Ugh. Okay. It's 1 1. We were close that time. Gotta bait him into attacking and then use those openings. There's one attack away. Oh my god. That was terrible. That is absolutely despicable. Kick him in the ass, literally. Comes down to this one. Just wait for the openings. That was good. At least for me. <laughs> that was okay. That wasn't too bad. Dead? We not dead yet. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> Oh, 
Now we did. <laughs> we beaten him before we go. We got 20 minutes before I absolutely have to get off. Like the the block I gotta remember doesn't like activate right away whenever you're moving around and stuff like that. It takes a second. We dead. We so dead. I don't have any breakers left. Yep. <laughs> Stretch it out a little bit. It's fine. How did he... I... Was I not blocking? Hydrate. In the middle of the fight? I mean, we're gonna die anyways, let's be honest. Yup, there it is. Alright. <laughs> Posture check. Okay, I'll do that too. A little pause is probably what we need anyways. And holy shit, with the 25 times vote on MGS3. I saw it pop up. I didn't realize it was a 20 time, 25 times vote though, my guy. What's that take it up to now? It's got to be pretty high. Uh, PlayStation 2 collection. Sit back in the chair. Scoot forward a little bit. Sit up straight. Oh, there we go. All right. Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm not going to add the votes right this second. Okay, but it's at 94. So that's what, 119? Not bad, man. And a stretch. Well, I just did poster check. Now I got to stand up. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, man. Stretch out everything a little bit. It feels good. Oh. All right. Back to sitting up straight, too. Still got to keep that posture. Oh, well, it's at 94. And you just added 25, right? So, yeah. Uh, I Maybe you're a little bit behind, yeah. Oh, all right. We're all stretched out. We're nice and loose now. Here we go. You thought it was 89? Oh, well, I mean, close. Round one, fight. Music suddenly died. I don't like that. Oh, 
I don't know how I was doing that, but if I could do that more, that would be fantastic. That like ground juggle thing I was doing there, that was that was good. It was completely accidental though. Oh, my God. He goes from being like hard, but reasonable to just like, fuck me. <laughs> We still got another chance, though. For me, it all comes down to what fighters they give me, I feel like. Let's go. Finally. Okay. We got it, dude. Mission complete. 500 coins. Oh, thank goodness. Nope. Gotta sit up straight. <laughs> I, just to, I just wanted to slouch back down. I don't know if the five minutes is up or not, but... No, still got another minute. Oh, nope, never mind. Just ticked over to five. That's fine. We'll still try to set up straight for a minute. I'm assuming that's the Kamidogu that we needed. The last one. Kamidogu, let's go. Shujiro, you have the order of Kamidogu, I see. With the help of your assassin, yes. I do not understand how you could condone such an action. Are these the methods of the Elder Gods? I am not an Elder God. I am merely your guide. In any event, do not presume to judge my methods. You yourself have done many dishonorable things during your lifelong journey. To answer your question, however, the Elder Gods would not have objected to the methods applied. I may have done questionable things during my service to the Elder Gods, but I have also grown much since my quest began. Very I brave. cannot believe the Elder Gods would not take exception to such brutal tactics. The Elder Gods do not directly interfere with the realms, nor do they judge the events that occur therein. Their duty is merely to assure that the realms exist. And my quest plays some part in their duty? I will not explain further. All will be revealed in time. Take the Kamidogu to the Nexus and continue your search. <sighs> yes, Dimashi. I will do as you ask. But I cannot help but feel disenchanted with the quest. I mean, yeah, we've done some horrible things, but it's literally been, like, a your direction, my guy. <laughs> like, all the shit we've done has basically been because you told us to. Let's figure out what this last realm is, because I've piqued my curiosity. I really want to know. Going to figure out what it is before we end the stream for today. And then next Wednesday, presumably, we'll be finishing the game. I can't imagine there's too much more to it. Not only are we coming up on the how long to beat time, but also, uh, like, this is the last realm to unlock. So unless we have to backtrack through them all again, which is a possibility, I guess. Or we could just get stuck on the last fight forever, like Rooted. I guess that's also a possibility. Wait, is there... There's one more pedestal. What's that last pedestal open? <laughs> Anytime a deity tells you to collect relics, be skeptical. This is fair. <laughs> Usually doesn't end well for anyone. And we're not even sure he's actually a deity. He's just a random glowing ball. We don't know why. 
or where he comes from. We just took him at his word that it was, you know, he was a messenger of the Elder Gods. That has some grand quest for us here. Ooh, ooh, that blue. Okay, there we go. This? What is this realm? Ah! Getting wrapped in my cable. Where are we? Edenia. It's a nice looking realm. Looks very Earth Realm esque, just, you know, nicer. You have but one coming to the left to find before your task is complete. It lies hidden in this realm, the realm of Edenia. But beware, I sense there is another force at work. Someone else may be after the coming to Someone else? For what purpose? You have never fully revealed to me the true significance of the Kamidogu. After all these years of searching, I feel I am owed an explanation. <sighs> if it will serve to emphasize the importance of your quest, I will tell you what I can. The Kamidogu made possible the creation of reality. The Elder Gods used them to split the consciousness of the One Being into what we know as the Realms. I do not understand. What is this one being? Before the creation of the realms, there were only the Elder Gods and the One Being. The One Being fed off the Elder Gods. It consumed them. A war raged in the timeless void until six Elder Gods forged the Kamidogu and used them to splinter the One Being into the many realms. I am humbled by the scope of what you have revealed to me. Still, I am left to wonder why the Elder Gods have needed my assistance. As you know, you were called by the Elder Gods to retrieve the Kamidogu and deliver them into safekeeping. What you do not know is that the Elder Gods had detected a plot whereby an individual sought to exploit the Kamidogu and merged all the realms in an attempt to gain ultimate power. That individual may be here in Edenia, he must not be allowed to find the Kamidogu. It would seem that the Kamidogu are quite powerful. Dangerous weapons in the wrong hands. I thank you for being forthright with me, Damashi. I have no doubt that you will succeed, Shichiko. You have served the Elder Gods well. So is Damashi like the consciousness of the One Being or whatever? I feel like that's kind of what's going on here. Like, by bringing all of the Kamidogu together, the one being gets to regain their form or something along those lines. And, uh, that's what we're doing? I don't know. I don't know, because it still has to come back to the, the dragon god dude at some point, right? Any interest in the Resident Evil 4 demo? Yes, I, uh, did I download it? I, I downloaded the Grim Grimoire demo. I think I downloaded the RE4 demo. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played any of the Resident Evil remakes yet, to be honest with you. Um, I'm one of those people that really likes to play games in order, if they're story-based games, at least. And uh, Resident Evil, I think, would fall under that category for the most part. Even though, like, a lot of the games aren't directly connected to each other. Anyways, regardless, um, I am interested in trying it out, especially because... I'm not a huge fan of Resident Evil 4, from what I've played of it at least. I've only played like three hours of it or whatever. But from what I've played of original Resident Evil 4, it's actually my least favorite. Um, out of 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, so I'm, I'm interested in seeing how they changed it for the for the remake. Um, I, I have a sneaking suspicion I'll enjoy the remake a lot more than I do the original. So, yeah. I, I'm definitely interested in it. Uh, I may end up playing it soon. I don't know. I just don't have much time to play video games off stream. <laughs> I play a lot of video games, but it tends to be, you know, PlayStation 2 stuff or whatever we're completing or whatever. Uh, I've been trying to play through the game, which shall not be named, off stream lately. And uh, that's other than... And even then, I've only played since it came out, what, about a, three weeks ago or something? I've only gotten to play like 15 hours of it. That's just, <laughs> that's the amount of time, free time that I really have outside of, you know, life, uh, work, streaming, etc. Heavier puzzle dynamic based on the inventory 4 was lacking in puzzles. 
See, which I, I did definitely enjoy the puzzles of 1, 2, and 3. The thing that really did it for me was definitely the focus on action instead of necessarily, like, the survival elements of 1, 2, and 3. Um, but also that I hated the camera and, and the way you aim in that game, man. I'm just, I'm not a huge fan of it. But I do still plan, it's on the list of games for us to beat. I do still plan on going back and and uh, completing it at some point. I, I think if I play more of it, I'll get used to it and I won't dislike it as much. And I know it's a lot of people's favorite Resident Evil game. So, like, I feel like there's just something I'm missing to it, you know? But uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of those classic 1, 2, and 3 fixed camera angle games. They're a ton of fun. Um, happy to hear that there's more puzzles in 4, or at least it, 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 it seems. It as though victory was at hand. But the combined this game looks insane. For the time, yeah, it actually does look really good. At least with the pre-rendered cutscenes and whatnot. It looks really... I mean, the gameplay itself looks good enough, too. It's just like all the realms are very basic looking. Um, I think this the game was somewhat early in the won. PS2's life cycle, I want to say. I'd have to grab the case and check the date on it or Google it. But uh, I don't know. I'm assuming it was just some sort of performance thing. So they made all of the realms like pretty sparse in terms of, you know, buildings and trees and people and stuff like the that. But was short -lived. They definitely had the skill to make it look very pretty. Shang, but yeah, probably performance other, things, but I don't know. So <laughs> Anyways, though, uh, that's pretty much it for tonight as far as streaming goes. Uh, every Wednesday is whenever we try to finish a game or work on finishing a game. So this coming Wednesday, fingers crossed, we'll be finishing up this game. And then we'll be rolling for the next game for us to try to complete. Uh, just looking at my list here real quick. I guess I can bring it up. Hey, Nate Alistair, thank you so much for the reset. Whoa, shit, at tier 3 again, dude? I did not expect another tier 3 sub. Was that an accident? <laughs> Either way, thank you so much, my guy. I really do appreciate that. Uh, you know how it goes, man. 100 votes to whatever game you wish that's on the, the list here. Um, if you have a preference. If not, I'll just end up throwing it on something. Uh, but yeah, no. The games for us to beat, though. We have the front runners, definitely Final Fantasy X. And then... Uh, no, it's the same one? What do you mean it's the same one? What? I'm very confused. It's the same one? Do you mean like... What? <laughs> oh, it just popped up for your anniversary. Okay, so you haven't actually gotten the new sub. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. Why isn't the camera popping up? Oh, because I have the wrong one. Oh no, I don't have it visible, that's why. There we go. Now it's working. Kind of. It's also way too bright though with the screen being white and everything. Let's just turn that off. Oh god. It is not happy with me right now. Also, there's only one chance. Not, no, whatever, it's fine. I don't really care. Point is, Final Fantasy X is the definite front runner right now. Uh, God of War is up there. Metal Gear Solid 3, I'll go ahead and add those ones on now. Uh, that's the wrong cell. Equals 94 plus 25. There we go. 119. So, Metal Gear Solid 3 is up there. Took a second to load. And then Dragon Quest has some, God of War has some. So yeah, who knows? It could literally be any game. I mean, just as an example, if we click the button, this doesn't count for anything. But if we click the button here, it could literally be anything. But it's likely to be one of those games with a lot of points. Like that one, in that case, is uh, God of War. But yeah, I don't know which one I'm personally hoping for. All of the games on this list here are games that I want to play and complete, obviously. That's why they're on the list. So I'll be happy with any of them. 
Uh, Resident Evil 4 would be cool, just so I can continue on my playthrough of the Resident Evil games. Dragon Quest, I absolutely love JRPGs, but that's also a very long game, so... Eh, Final Fantasy X, kind of same story. It's not, uh, as long, but it's still, still up there. Dark Cloud would be fun. A lot of fun games, man. We'll see. Probably come next Wednesday. As long as I don't get, you know, absolutely stuck forever on the, uh, on the final boss. <laughs> Anyways, though, guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me for a bit while I uh, played some Mortal Kombat Deception. I will be back tomorrow night, right? Yeah, Thursday night with some random PS2 goodness. Until then, though, have a wonderful night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.